<clears throat> hello, hello. How we looking? We are live. We are not broken. Ooh, wait, hold on. <clears throat> uh, two minutes left. Uh, wrong button. Send up. I'm broken. Yeah. Eighth right. There we go. We're moving. <laughs> Uh, where am I going? Round square. That's it. <clears throat> we gotta start making sure we're doing these when they pop up. We got an event coming up. We gotta buy all the things. We have to complete our life. Hold on. Let me fix my... Oh, geez. I got 40 seconds. Ah. I got to plug in my thing. That might be useful, huh? Always with the breaking things. Always with the tinkering. Whatever will we do? <coughs> bum, 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 bum. Let's go! Honk, honk, honk. We can do this. Ah, immediately. I don't remember them popping up immediately. I also don't know if I messed up my camera angle by bumping it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I bumped it. I'm pretty sure I look like I'm off to the side now. Yeah, I definitely bumped that. We can fix it. We got it. We got this. We got that. Ha! Ah, you can do nothing to us. Success. I think I need to move the camera. Yeah. Just get an angle right. I can probably do that now. Ugh. Better. Ah. Need this and this and this and this and that. And this one and this one and this one. All of this stuff. We're too good. They got nothing on us. I need that. What else you got? Haha. -ha. Is that all you got? It's not enough. We're too good. I love this mouse. I will never go back to another mouse. Actually, I, th I think I moved my camera wrong. Huh, huh, huh. This one, this one, this one. That one. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I think we got a perfect score so far. This one, this one, this one. Aha. I kind of want to hit the bomb ones. <laughs> I want the chaos, but I can't. One day, one day we will. Aha! I know they're gonna throw some bombs up on me, so I'm gonna wait. No? No bombs? Okay. Is that it? Weird. I need to move the camera the other way. Jeez. There we go. <laughs> I moved it to fix it, and I moved it the wrong way. And I'm like, what? Aha! 4,000. That's not enough. We need hundreds of thousand. I think I'm only sitting on like 60,000. So if I'm going to need, like, <clears throat> a couple hundred thousand for the event coming up, I'm going to have to make sure I do those more often. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll get there eventually. Because how much was the mount last time? I already forgot. I didn't even use that mount since I got it. That's the sad part. That is the sad part. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, though. Where are we going today? We are... We got our ram spells. Thanks to Phantom and Random Dude last time, which was pretty fun. <clears throat> I mean, I died a bunch and they killed it. <laughs> but we were standing there talking. I was like, you know what we should do? We should kill the Chimera. And then we did. And then he was like, I'm going to go do my own Blue Mage spells. And I'm like, all right, I'd help you, but I'm not level 50 yet because he's doing level 50 dungeons to get some of his spells at the moment. And I'm like, I can't. I don't I don't have that. Look at this sad face. It doesn't look very sad, does it? <laughs> Where are we going today, though? We are going to do some more main story quest. 
Oh, that's right. We got to go to Mordona. I remember now. Because we just moved out of Viper's Bay, and we are now in Mordona. <clears throat> and it occurred to me yesterday that the Crystal Tower to the south west is it the southwest is it the southeast oh there it is <laughs> wasn't the crystal tower in final fantasy 3 the game i'm always chalking up as being a childhood memory that i forget nothing about i always thought final fantasy 4 was final fantasy 3 with cecil and dark knight turning into the paladin later i always thought that he was i always thought that he was that that was final fantasy 3 for some reason even though I know for a fact that it wasn't actually Final Fantasy 3. For some reason, I always thought it was. And I was horribly wrong. Hey, Cabby, how's it going? Woo! <laughs> I love that cat emote. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but I made the realization that this Crystal Tower is from Final Fantasy 3, the game that I thought was Final Fantasy 4, but was drastically wrong about. <laughs> um, but we should do that. Dova was telling me last time that that's the, uh... Oh, you were sick most of the day? That sucks. I'm glad you're doing better. I cleaned my kitchen and took a nap and did some laundry. <laughs> that was the extent of the rest of my day yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it was sort of productive. I mean, Fridays have kind of become my cleaning day, so I mean, it works. I got to go put my laundry in the dryer at some point, though, because I got a load in there that I need to make sure I don't forget about. But for now, we're going to do the Outlandish Man, which apparently unlocks the Crystal Tower quests, which are apparently Alliance raids or something, um, which I guess is what, 24 people? Phantom was telling me yesterday it's like 24 people. It's like three groups of people, which sounds like chaos. I think Dova told me that too, because he reminded me to turn off my um, my effects for everybody. Um, <clears throat> so I need to make sure I do that. Do I need help? I need all kinds of help. It depends on what kind of help I need. I don't know yet. <laughs> that that like that you know that is the question, isn't it? Because this is the first. I don't know what this quest line entails. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm being so nitpicky about my camera today. Ugh. Oh, perfect. Legacy of Alag of Alog. <clears throat> I can tag along if you need healing. I mean, we could do that. We could. I don't know why I'm a blue mage right now. I don't know what I want to play it as. Normally I play healer. Um, I could try a DPS. <clears throat> you also have a black mage. Maybe the black mage. I just, I don't know how long it would take to queue this, honestly. Oh, your bestie's with you, the black mage. Nice. Yeah, we could. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it progresses. I don't know what's going to happen. You guys know more than I do. <laughs> but I don't know how quickly this goes into the alliance raids and whatnot. So we'll see. Why is, why, am I losing my mind? Why is my camera like... No, this way. I am losing my mind today. Maybe it was right to begin with. Maybe I just messed it up. <laughs> Moving around. Moving around. Okay, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> All right, let's accept this quest. Let's progress this quest line and see where we end up. Because <clears throat> I am going in blind. You're going to be lurking? All right. Ooh, helping him with Shadowbringers. Nice. I'm trying to get there. No, I'm trying to get to Heaven's Word. And then it's Stormblood. And then it's Shadowbringers. And then it's Endwalker. I keep mixing up the names of the different. <laughs> nice. Well, you guys have fun. I will cry out for help. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Do I know you? Ah, 
Unless I am very much mistaken, you are the famed adventurer who bested the Garlean Empire's general, are you not? What was his name? Garland or something? The great Sir Shadow himself, amazing, and more than a little serendipitous. One might even call it fate. I but recently received word of a truly unique opportunity. Ooh. You see, an opportunity the like of which none but one of your proven worth. English. My brain just shut down. <laughs> yes, yes, I can do it. I know, I know. Thank you. It's Heaven's Ward, Swarmbread, Shadowbringer, and Walker. Okay, so I got it right. Good. I think I got it right. <laughs> I know Heaven's Ward is the one that my Astro and the Dark Knight are in. So I know I need to get that one first. That, so I got that one down. For some reason, I keep mixing up Shadowbringers and Stormblood, and I don't know why. I mean, they're both S's. So, like, that's kind of like... But now that I got Heaven's Ward first, I know the two S's are in the middle, which tells me that Endwalker is last. <laughs> it makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> Everybody else gets them mixed up? Nice. I feel a little bit better then. <laughs> mm. Got my coffee. <clears throat> the reward, not less than accumulated knowledge of a fallen civilization. Fallen civilization, what? The risk, a single misstep could cost you your life. Ooh. But what is a little danger to a storied hero such as you? Nothing, I got heals. A man with absolute confidence in his own abilities stands to profit handsomely from this venture. No, no, I crave no recompense for my part in bringing this opportunity to your attention. The historic discoveries you shall make will be reward enough, I assure you. If my words have fanned the flames of your curiosity, then I bid you seek a man by the name of Rambrose at St. Coinox Find. It is he who stands at the doorway to untold marvels, awaiting the arrival of a champion bold enough to march across this threshold. Ooh. Oh, when people say SB, it could be both. Oh, it didn't even occur to me. Oh, that's even more worse. <laughs> I rue the day that that happens to me. That's why you guys nickname to help not to spoil things, but to not mix things up. <laughs> fair, fair. <clears throat> What's going on down there? A bunch of hippogriffs. I just got done like destroying like a hundred hippogriffs for all of their skin <laughs> so I could make my crafting clothes. <laughs> I've seen enough hippogriffs in my life now. Where am I going? I don't even know. Where's my map? I passed it. Where are we going? Oh, it's the guy down here. Okay. I was here before when I was getting my... It was the summoner armor, I think. The leave meats. That's what I haven't done yet. These people. Whatever that is. Some kind of quest or something, I think. I haven't, I haven't done that. And I think they taught you that in the beginning of the game. <laughs> I really need to do that quest. It's on my notes. <laughs> Or talk to them to find out what they are, or whatever involves them. <clears throat> I'm gonna reach the end of the game and be like, what's a leave meat? <laughs> <laughs> Why, if it isn't Sir Shadow himself, I was not expecting such a celebrated guest. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? <clears throat> you were directed here, you say? By a man clad in foreign garb. Well, the opportunity he spoke of must surely refer to our latest anthropogeographical endeavor. Oh, got it. Quite how he came to know of it is another matter. All knowledge of this project was supposed to be restricted to my organization. Weird. You are a Perito and snuggled in. Nice. <laughs> but that is something for me to ponder in private. You are here now, and your services will, I am certain, prove invaluable. I must warn you, however, that the venture we have in mind is no simple excavation. 
an unprepared or incautious adventurer could very well find himself on an unplanned and unpleasant journey to Thal's solemn halls. Knowing this, do you wish to lend us your cooperation? Heck yeah, I do. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, you enjoy the reading? It's comforting. I'm glad it's comforting. I enjoy it. I have fun. <laughs> I rather thought you would say it. Your courage is scarcely a secret. I, I grew up watching plenty of videos and streams and literally fell asleep to them all the time. So, like, I definitely understand that. <clears throat> now the first. Sir, I thought it was you. Who are you? Hello? Oh, it's Sid. How's it going, Sid? That was your childhood? Nice. <laughs> what brings you to St. Coinox? Don't tell me. The Alliance has sent you on another realm-shaking, history-making mission to lay low an apparently insuperable foe. Yes? No? I think so, probably. Oh, your dad used to game and read to you a lot? Nice. I like that. That's cool. Ah, I see you two are already acquainted. That is, well, Master Garland. Our intrepid hero here caught wind of the forthcoming expedition and has kindly pledged to assist us. <clears throat> he has, has he? Glad to have you aboard, sir. You don't have the faintest idea what you've volunteered to do, have you? Very well, let us begin at the beginning. Sid, I have no idea. Send help. <laughs> The sons of St. Coinock are tasked with unearthing the secrets of the long-fallen Allegan Empire, and this present endeavor aims to delve more deeply into the civilization's mysteries than ever before. Ooh, learning about the Allegan Empire, nice. Ah, but I know that look. In the event that you feel ill-equipped to contribute much on the subject of Allegan archaeology, I invite you to recall your encounter with the Al Ultima weapon. Oh, that's right, the Ultima weapon was Allegan Tech, wasn't it? They unearthed that and then used it to try to destroy us. I remember. <clears throat> the mechanical monstrosity represented a feat of engineering far beyond aught Garlemon can presently achieve. Narrow Toll Skeva simply awoke it. I mention this by way of a reminder that you have had what one might term extensive first-hand experience with a notable Allegan relic. In short, you practically are an archaeologist. Archaeologist? What? <laughs> Ooh, the Crystal Tower. I have knowledge of this. Do I get to fight the big green lady? That was the boss of this in Final Fantasy III, right? The big green lady with like the snakes or something? Were they snakes? I can't remember now. It's like it's 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 like a vague blur in the back mind of my memories. I remember there being the one dude that kind of had like the Viking horned helmet and was kind of like, you know, he looked like a fighter. And I remember the green lady. I remember nothing else. I feel like I remember using holy and flare in this a bunch. <laughs> oh, the memories of my childhood. Now to the core of the matter here in Mordona. There stands an entire elegant structure, which we have yet to investigate. I speak of, of course, the Crystal Tower. Yeah? Nice. <laughs> After witnessing the destructive capabilities of the Ultima weapon and the Lesser Moon, Dalamud, before it, it seems wise to treat any remnants from that era with the utmost caution. They must be analyzed, monitored, and above all, kept from falling into the wrong hands. You love Final Fantasy 3? Nice. I need to replay it. Now that I've mixed up Final Fantasy 3 and 4 so much, I want to go back and replay them because it's been so long. Like, I feel so bad that, like, the games I loved so much, I'm, like, mixing up in my brain and, like, intertwining them. <laughs> I, I just remember them both being so good. Those and then Tactics and then 10. I need to start with those and then branch out to the rest of them. There was another one that I used to play too, but I don't remember what it was. It'll come to me eventually. <clears throat> I guess it's the fact that like three and four were so vastly different. Where like four had specific characters with specific roles. And then three was like the classic, like choose your job, play the game type of thing. I guess that's why my brain just kind of like intertwined them back in the day. 
especially younger mind me. <clears throat> to put it plain, I have no wish to see another megalomaniacal, ma ma maniacal, megalomaniacal, <laughs> Legatus wield one of those weapons. It was this thought which first moved me to contact the sons and propose that the tower be explored. I like how it got all foggy. Oh, this is the tower. Okay. For several millennia, the crystal tower remained hidden, buried deep underground. But, like so many other things that were better left undisturbed, the structure was freed from its stony prison by the great upheaval which accompanied the coming of the seventh umbral era. It now stands revealed in all its splendor, a gleaming spear of crystal pointed at the bosom of the heavens. Final Fantasy VI crazy? I don't... I don't know what Final Fantasy VI is. I can't even picture that. Kefka? I know nothing about the game with Kefka. I first learned about Kefka in the, uh... The game, it was like the fighter game, Dissidia. I first learned about Kefka and Dissidia, so I know nothing about Six. Whoa! What a barrier. We believe the tower to be the repository of much of the ancient's wisdom. Unfortunately, its entrance is guarded by formidable defenses, and we cannot so much as peep through the keyhole, much less set foot, a foot inside. Rip, most feared boss. Ooh. <laughs> That's not good. I only ever, I never even had the game Dissidia. I'm pretty sure I played a demo on my PSP of, of Dissidia and then learned about so many characters that I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I think I bought it eventually, but like, yeah. Vague memories. These defenses take the form of statues carved into the likeness of giant swordsmen, the eight sentinels. Ooh. As the sons are wont to call them, is the first barrier we must overcome. How do I do that? Definitely play that one at some point. It will blow my mind. <laughs> Adding it to the list. Play Final Fantasy VI. I never played nine either. Isn't 9 what a lot of the stuff in Dawn Trail is based around? Because I never played that one either. And some of the videos I watched online of like the panel, a lot of people are like, I didn't like 9 or like, I loved 9. So I feel like 9 was like a hit or miss. But that's only off of like a couple people's opinions. You love 9 a lot. It's on my list of things to play too. I, I, like, I never played 9, I never played 6. I played a little bit of 7 growing up. Um, but I never finished it, so I need to replay that one. I actually think I have all of them. Like, I have all of the PlayStation 1 games. I walked into a game shop once, and I had some money from, like, taxis and, like, extra money from bonuses I had saved up from working and whatnot. And it was my birthday, and I walked into this, like, secondhand game shop, and they had a case right in the front of the door where they had every Final Fantasy 1 game. And I was like, I'll buy them all. <laughs> I literally bought the entire case. Uh, he gave me a discount on it for, for buying multiple. <laughs> I was like, dude, I grew up with Final Fantasy. I need these. <laughs> it was an on the whim decision and probably a bad financial decision, but I did it. <laughs> uh, which one was eight? Was eight the one with Leon? Honestly, I never played anything between four. I, I think I went, I think I played four, seven, and ten. I don't think I played anything in between. <clears throat> yes, the one your cat is named after? Nice. Yeah, I don't think I ever, I think I only played four, seven, and ten. I don't think I played anything in between there. I never played one and two, so I only played three. No, did I play one and two? I started one and two. Because I think they made a remake of those at one point that I bought. 
You went backwards? I need to. <laughs> I need to go backwards. Oof. I got so many things I need to do. And apparently I missed so many great stories in like a lot of these. <clears throat> so it's definitely on my list of things to do. Why not simply fly over them in an airship, you ask? It's been tried before. Any vessel that ventures too close to the tower is blasted out of the air. We either destroy those statues or the front door is forever beyond our reach. Can we destroy the statues? I'm sure, surely there's another way to get in. Surely we don't just have to blow down the statues. My colleagues are ill-suited to negotiating such deadly hazards. Thus, if we are to gain access to the tower's secrets, we need, we, we must needs employ the, the services, I can't speak. <laughs> we must needs employ the services of an experienced adventurer. It will be difficult and dangerous, sir, but I can think of no finer man for the task. Then you went to 12 and 13, missed out on 15, you want to buy 16 and play. And you played 1.0, but didn't come back until Shadowbringers came back. Oof. I did start, no, I was going to say 12. I skipped 11. 11 was another online one, right? I never played that. 12, I never played. 13 was the one with lightning. I got a couple hours into that, and that's when I got distracted by DC Universe Online and never finished playing it. Because 11 was the one with those... What is it called? I, I, I forget what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. Like the little sprites and everything. You played 11, but you gave up really quick because you played alone. Ooh, that's sad. <clears throat> I just, I got to that, I got to like the online gaming world way, like well after that. Or at least didn't learn about it for a while. I didn't spend a lot of time on the internet growing up. <clears throat> My parents were more like... Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Viruses. <laughs> <clears throat> if they didn't show you Viera in 12, you would have come back for Shadowbringers. <laughs> oh, no. The Vieras are so cool, though. Ugh, definitely a good reason to come back. Fran is your queen. <laughs> yeah, the fact that I love Viera so much and I've never played the game with Fran in it is crazy. <laughs> I, like, I don't even know Fran's character. I just know what she looks like. So I, I, like, I don't even know anything about her. I just I just love Vieras. I think I learned about Vieras through Fran too, yeah. Because I can't think of any other... No, there was Vieras in the tactics games, weren't they? Because the female Viera was the only one that could learn Red Mage back in the tactics games, right? Or at least the one I played. So yeah. I I remember them mostly from that. Because you could fight with the Moogle guys and recruit them. And then there was those lizard guys. And then there was the Viera. And then your classic looking sage. Green mage dudes. The guys, guys with the big floppy ears that kind of look like Eeyore. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to go back and play those. Man, reminiscing on those is so good. It will be difficult and dangerous, sir, but I think of no finer man for the task. Good. I'll do my best. If I didn't know better, I'd say you had a taste for these deadly escapades. I look forward to working with you again. There is much and more to be done before we can begin the expedition proper. Take some time to prepare, and I shall explain the challenges that lie ahead. You really feel her story? It made you cry? You really fell for her? Oh no. I'm assuming you're talking about Fran. Oof. I definitely need to play that game then. I didn't realize that that story went so deep. <clears throat> Although that's what the Final Fantasy games do best. They really make you feel for the characters and get into them. What was that? <laughs> All right, Rambros, what do you got? I should also probably change into my actual gear. Our first objective is to reach the entrance to the Crystal Tower. 
As I previously mentioned, however, that will prove no easy task. The entrance is guarded by powerful defense mechanisms, each utilizing one of the four elements of fire, water, wind, and earth. Anyone attempting to simply stroll past those unsleeping sentinels invites swift obliteration. <laughs> Based on Master Garlon's analyses, however, we are reasonably certain that the attacks of these lethal contraptions can be reflected using a crystal of the corresponding element. Ooh. Naturally, these crystals must be of surpassing clarity, free of the slightest impurities, much like the flawless specimens used by the beastmen in their primal summoning rituals. <clears throat> Mayhap I should have said exactly like the specimens they use. Uh, were there any other way we would not ask this of you, but we need someone to enter the beast tribe's strongholds and liberate their perfect crystals. For the moment, I would have you focus on obtaining two of the four crystals we require. Pray, make for Lenosha, where both of the Sapsa spawning Sapsa? What is a Sapsa? Where both the Sapsa spawning grounds and all Gamaro mines are located. Have I been to the Sapsa spawning grounds? I don't know. You may be certain that the materials used in the Beastmen's sacred rituals will be well defended. Whether you choose to venture there alone or with companions, I shall leave it to your discretion. But whatever you do, please be careful. Oof. Uh, same with Freya, Crescent, a.k.a. Rat Gull in Final Fantasy IX. Freya is the reason you started out as a Lancer in 1.0. Freya. Freya. Well, I, I know the name Freya. Why can't I picture Freya? Oops. Whoops. I can't type. <laughs> Oh, okay. I've seen I've seen Freya. Okay. I don't know anything about Freya, but I know the name and I know the picture. Seriously, so many good characters and memories with all the final fantasies. Definitely. Definitely. You adore her. I definitely need to play Final Fantasy IX. I, I just need to play them all. Like, I, I really do. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. I, I just need to play them all. All right. Ooh. Oh, we've been up to the Kabold stronghold before. <clears throat> Make a mega stream for Final Fantasy. Right? I really do. <laughs> Whoops. I forget it keeps you on your mount when you teleport. I always jump off of it. <laughs> You'd watch. Nice. I'm assuming all of them have like hidden summons and Ultima weapons and everything else. I always enjoyed that part of the game as well. Just like casually grinding as I fell asleep for the night after school and whatnot. <clears throat> and then getting into the story. Why am I still a low level blue mage? <laughs> oh, I already need to change before I get into some trouble. Who do I want to play? Red mage. We'll just, we'll just deal up real quick. I also ran out of potions. I forgot about that. <laughs> I used up all my potions running around as um uh running around as my blue mage yesterday. <laughs> I have zero potions left and I haven't learned how to heal yet. When do I learn how to heal? When do I get Vercure? Uh 54. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> I should probably also drink some apple juice. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, leave me alone. I'm drinking apple juice. Get out of here. Correct. That's what you get for interfering with my apple juice. I don't think I've ever been down in here before. I've only been up top. Whoops, I was a dual cast. I didn't realize I had dual cast up. My bad. At least I noticed it. 
I always feel bad when I start like long casting my other spells and I'm just like, do I just continue or do I stop? Which at that point, I feel like it's better to just continue. All right, where are these crystals at? Ooh. Get out of here, fool. Red Mage is just so good. I, I love the swift casting of everything. It just feels so good. Synthetic Goblin? Goblin. Ooh. All right, I got what I needed, but is there... I need to complete my Immortal Flames quest. Um, let's see, what do I need? No... Okay, I'm just making sure there's nobody that looks like anybody that I need in here. <clears throat> All right, let's get teleported over to Lenosha. Oh, this is the Hagen stronghold. I've definitely not done anything related to the Sahagan yet. I heard there's like quests for each of the the races, each of the tribes, the beast tribes. I just recently learned about the one for the. Oh, I forgot their their the. What are they called now? Hold on. The Amalja. That's them. The Amalja. <laughs> you want to do Red Mage, but you're not good at it. Oh, uh, that's sad. I kind of feel like it makes sense in comparison to some of the other ones that I've done recently. Although I don't know if that changes high level with the different spells. It's definitely more hands-on and faster it feels compared to Black Mage where there's time to think between your casts because they're so long. Whereas Red Mage, you basically gotta like, it feels like you gotta know what you're doing next. Where there's no like downtime of like, all right, I got to do this next. Okay, I messed up um, while it's casting. Let me figure out what to do next. Like it's, <laughs> I feel like you can just intertwine back into what you need to do. Where am I going? Over here. We're not going to do that fate. We're just going to keep going. Ah, oh, jeez. Get out of here. Uh, which way we're we going? We're going upwards. Beast tribes are the Amalja, the Sylphs, the Kobolds, the Sahagin, and the Ixel. There's a lot. I've done the Ixel ones, because those are the crafting ones. Um, Phantom told me about those, and I've been kind of doing those off stream as I tinkered with my, um, crafters. <clears throat> but I haven't done any of the other ones. One of the quests I did took me to the Amalja. And I learned about the Amalja, but I haven't done the quest yet. I got it written down as something to do in the future. I feel like I wasted that sword cast. Why am I still running? Let's just fly over this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you're working on that now since you're at the end game? Yeah, I did it before everything else. <laughs> But like knowing that you can level up the craft crafters pretty fast with the Ixel, I don't know what the other beast tribes offer as far as like who you level with them or if the rest of them are just like DPS type stuff. Wait, where am I going? I'm going here. Or not DPS, but just like, you know, your disciple of uh, war. Haha, it's a hog and wave rider. I feel like this is a good, cool part in the storyline as well, where it's kind of just teaching you about all the different beast tribes that you hadn't ventured to yet and taking you around to them. <clears throat> it feels kind of nice. Wait a minute, I messed up my quick cast. How did I do that? <laughs> I always end up like off of my rotation and I don't know how. Quit healing yourself. Get out of here. Crystal obtain. Let's go. There's three in Heaven's Ward, three in Stormblood, and three in Shadowbringers, three in Endwalker. Summer fighting quests, gathering, etc. Dang. I didn't realize there was that many. So the ones I'm aware of are just like, I felt like the five that are going to Realm Reborn was a lot. I didn't realize there was so many everywhere else. 
Where am I going? Oh, right, Revenant's Toll. You're almost finished with your Endwalker ones, but you can't get your dance. But can't wait to get my dance. I want a booty shake. <laughs> <clears throat> What is this? That's interesting. I feel like I recognize that tech. That reminds me of the Albed tech from Final Fantasy X. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, dance. <laughs> Speaking of dancing, Dancer seems kind of cool. I want to try out Dancer and Bard as like kind of buffer options. I just don't know because I love my casters so much that I want to branch over into stuff like that. Your boyfriend's a dancer reaper? Nice. That sounds like a cool combo to have as for mains. You like white mage bard and astro? Bard caught my attention. And it's definitely one I want to try. The ones that caught my attention are uh, reaper and astro. But I don't know who... And like dark knight and paladin both look cool. A, because like dark knight's kind of like the darker or shadowy vibes. And then paladin being the magey alternative to tanking. I kind of want to try those out, but I don't know if I'm going to like tanking as much. So I kind of got to get into some of the some of the different jobs and try them out. You have tank anxiety. You can't tank for dudes that like that's my concern is like, I don't know that like easier four man content. Yeah, I'm fine with tanking, but I don't know if I'm going to like it in the bigger content. So like I want to level them up and try it, but I want to try it on the side. Like healing is my go to. Healing is seriously your soul. Yeah, that's how it feels for me. Like, I, I just love healing. Whenever I try other stuff, it's just kind of like, okay, I'm doing that on the side. Okay, nobody else can seem to tank this in our group. Let me throw it on and try it out kind of thing, right? <clears throat> so other than that, I try to play support. But I feel like every game that I play where I'm playing the support, every time I don't play the support, I feel like everybody's dying and I wish I had just stayed support. <laughs> Like in my old MMO, my DC Universe Online, it's like, all right, I'm healing, I'm healing, we're good. Uh, okay, I'm going to play something else this time. Ah, oh, geez, everybody's dying. Let me go switch characters real quick. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. I'm going to go get my healers as these guys can't figure it out. Not to be rude to them, but like, we need to get through this. <laughs> so I usually leave, like, I like DPSing and like min-maxing and whatnot, but... I kind of leave that to everybody else because like I feel like most people like playing DPS and most people can pull off damage enough. But I feel like not everybody can heal, especially harder stuff or stuff with certain mechanics. So I love healing and like that's my go to with all of it. <clears throat> people will be like, you're always support. So then you go bard then everyone's dying because I'm not support. <laughs> you're like, ah, <laughs> oh, geez. And that's kind of what caught my attention with Astro, too, though. Because, like, it's not all about me just, like... Obviously, there's more to he healers than healing, right? But the fact that I can buff other people and, you know, deal some occasional damage and whatnot, I like how it has multiple things going on on that end, where it's not like you're either healing or you got downtime and you're just throwing some damage. I like the fact of Astro, where it's like you got other stuff going on to keep you busy, um, which... I feel like I may regret later in life, <laughs> but for now, <laughs> it sounds cool. Final Fantasy is a whole different animal to when it comes to tank and healing. Yeah, that's kind of how it feels. Healing a tank is a big job. You're busy. I like staying busy in jobs, though. <clears throat> like the 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 power that I played in DC Universe Online was the electric power and that type of healing like the other naturey type powers, they kind of just like you had slow heals over time, basically like a lot of heals over time and whatnot, where it's like 
electric was more of your like burst healing so whenever we did the bigger raids with my league and whatnot i used to like run in and be standing next to the tank and like jumping around the screen and everything because it wasn't more of like your casty type of mmo it was more just like you know you activate an ability it you know it does the thing and and you could like weave multiple abilities together by clipping them together and whatnot so it was more of it was more of that kind of game <clears throat> but in an mmo version so it was, it was always chaos and everybody was like you can't do this everybody's gonna die i'm like trust me try and, and i'm just running around the screen and i'm like slamming down aoe heals and like bursting people with electricity and healing them up and then after i played a few raids with my league literally everybody swapped their power to electric and we're like all right we're gonna try electric now i'm like you want some pointers <laughs> you all were just yelling at me for standing next to the tank and yet guess who just got us through the mission you're welcome <laughs> i loved it it was hilarious and that that taught me to just love healing so much especially when it freaks people out and you're just like trust me i know what i'm doing quit freaking out <laughs> Oh my god, you love that. It's like you're alive, right? It's like it's like you're alive. Why are you yelling at me? Trust me. I'm alive. You're alive. I appreciate you being worried about me dying, which means you're gonna die, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <clears throat> I wouldn't be doing it if it was a risk. Or I would tell you I was risking my life. Alright, like well, what or the other is gonna happen? Like it's not gonna catch me off guard. <clears throat> You wombo, she wombo, he wombo, we all wombo. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> Wait, what? I missed a message. This is why you work in a cat hotel and I'm a professional medical billing encoder. Oh, dang. That's crazy. I got into the world of retail and have been there ever since. <laughs> One of these days I say I'm going to do something else, but I never do. <clears throat> Let me give him this crystals. Flawless water and earth crystal. Your brain is very busy from that kind of work. I can imagine. Jeez. I mean, the way I work is kind of the way, the same way I'm always staying busy and thinking about, you know, the next two things I'm going to do and how things are going. And I'll have like five different plans of how I'm going to get through the night and get things done. And then like, so like, <clears throat> I'm a very hands-on type of manager at work. And it's, it's, it's utter chaos in my head. And everybody's like, it's, it's, it's all right. We'll be fine. I'm like, I know we'll be fine. Do I look stressed? I'm sure I sound stressed, but that's how I think. <laughs> like it, it's fine like my my head is chaos don't worry i'm good <clears throat> you were nervous about the billing aspect but it's not too bad yeah the billing side of things anything that deals with billing and money i'm kind of hesitant on too i'm just kind of like i don't want to deal with that because like what if i mess up <laughs> but i guess it's not too bad when you get into those kinds of things and actually learn them <clears throat> all right rambros here's your crystals so, these are the famed flawless crystals of the beast tribes. I've seen countless specimens from I know not how many excavations, but nothing to compare to these. Their purity is astounding. You've done well, sir. With these in our possession, we lack only the crystals of fire and wind. The formal lies in Zaharak. Zaharak. That's the Amalja, right? The war camp of the Amalja and Thanalon. The latter is Nautilon, the roost of the Ixil in the hills of Coerthus. Okay, so I know these two. <clears throat> you just look at the numbers and go how to math, right? I was always good at math growing up, but it was more of like a critical thinking side of math. It wasn't just, it was just kind of like, especially multiple choice stuff. It was like, well, these other three don't make sense. It's got to be this one. Can I explain my work? No, but I know this is the answer. <laughs> so whenever I was asked to like explain my work in math, I'm like, uh, <laughs> but I was always getting the answers right. And I never understood it growing up. <clears throat> 
you could expect them to be as closely guarded as the first two, if not more so. Still, I look forward to receiving word of your resounding success. I will do my best. Alright, let's get over to Thanalon and get these beast tribes under control. Where do we want to teleport to? Forgotten Springs? That's a cool place. <clears throat> English wasn't your first language. When I was a little English. Uh, oh, when you were little. So English and math was always your weakness, but science and history was your favorite. I guess that can make sense then, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I can imagine that being more difficult. I've learned, like, the basics of other languages. And honestly, like, the sentence structuring and everything in other languages seems so much nicer. Because I feel like, I feel like... I've learned the basics of Spanish, and I've learned the basics of Chinese. Um, what else was I learning? I like barely got into Japanese at that point. But back in my, back when I went to school in high school, they offered both Spanish and Chinese. So I just basically took a semester of each. Um, so I, I only really learned the basics of each of them. It's not like I can speak them or anything, but when I learned about the sentence structuring and I'm like, wait, most of these other languages structures are similar. Why isn't English that way? <laughs> so then I'm like, no wonder people have difficulty with English when they come in. It's so much more difficult. Like it changes their whole world. What? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, bring it. There he is. Flame Eater. Ooh. Sounds fancy. Get wrecked, sucker. Camp Dragon Head. Coerthus. The Ixali stronghold is in Coerthus. Oh, that's right, because the the tribes that teach you the crafting stuff aren't with the normal group of Ixal. They're kind of off on their own. Oh, I was over here fighting wolves for some crafting materials. I know where this is. You spoke mostly Spanish, but it's funny you went through speech therapy and now you don't know a lick of Spanish. Oh no! <laughs> but you enjoy learning languages. Finnish was your favorite learning. I don't know anything about Finnish. <clears throat> I really do need to get into some other languages. Because it is fun learning them. I'm sure there's apps and stuff I could probably find and learn a few more in my downtime. Because, like, I, I think it was Dova. Somebody else on here uh, was telling me something about how some of the words and stuff that I'm having trouble with have a root in, like, is it Latin and whatnot? <clears throat> I don't know. He speaks Italian, so I don't know. <laughs> We were, we, I was talking about learning some kind of language with him a little while back. You considered moving to the Netherlands? Nice. You changed your mind though, because he ended up meeting your boyfriend? Fair. <laughs> Netherlands. I think there's some YouTube people that live in the Netherlands. Well, I, I grew up watching the Yogs cast. So they're from Britain. So they have a lot of people in their group of YouTubers that kind of come from like the Netherlands and from a lot of other places. So it's, I kind of got into that, that side of like different languages and people and accents and everything from that group of people growing up watching them. <clears throat> it's cool learning about all the different like languages and cultures and everything out there. I think it's cool. Not that I want to know everything about them like a history buff. I was never like big on history growing up. But like just kind of experiencing it and learning different about different people and different things by meeting people is pretty cool. <clears throat> Get out of here, sucker! Wrecked. 
<laughs> I feel bad for these drives, Ben. They're literally just getting destroyed. I feel like Red Mage can pump out damage so much faster than Black Mage compared to what I was playing previously. But I also feel like that's just on like lower health people. I feel like once I get to like higher people because Black Mage being higher damage output would just like get the get the wrap on him. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you want to see the Northern Lights? That would be cool. I forgot about those. Oh, yeah, learning food and culture. Definitely. I've learned to make so many different things. Like, I'll just, like, randomly Google stuff and be like, all right, I'm going to learn to make that today. That, that looks good. <laughs> I want to learn to make curries next. But I've learned different, like, stir fries and some different baking stuff, so I haven't gotten super deep in. Or, like, different sauces that I could, like, coat on a chicken or something and just throw it on some rice or whatever. So it's all just kind of simple stuff. But what is that? A person flying around on a globe? That's weird. You make Thai and Japanese style curry. Curry looks so good. Like I, I used to always get just like the minute rice type of like quick rice growing because that's what I ate growing up and that's what my family always bought. I mean, to be fair, she also had like five kids. So I'm sure it was easy for her to just, you know, buy that because it's cheap and then like teach us how to make it. But like when I first started learning how to make food and I started eating rice and I'm like, this rice is good. Like, why am I buying this minute rice? <laughs> like, I'm done buying that. I'm making my own rice. <clears throat> and like, I got so excited over rice. <laughs> that mount is from something you're doing. Nice. You can do it later on, which you believe is storm blood. Nice. I don't think it'll be a go-to mount. I love my Ari, man. He's my favorite so far. I like the spookier ones right now. Um, and I love my chocobo. So those two are my favorite mounts out of the ones I've gotten so far. Um, I need to get the shadow wolf looked cool, but I have to buy that one on like the marketplace, right? Um, but I heard that was a boss too. So right now my favorites are kind of just like the beast, like spookier ones, but I'm sure I've only just barely gotten into a lot of them. <clears throat> A rice maker was the greatest thing you ever bought. I haven't bought one yet. I've only just been making it on like a pan on the stove, right? Um, so I haven't gotten a rice maker or anything. I haven't even looked into them. Is it that much better or does it just make, make life easier? Oh, you got one of the ninja things? The ninja things are so good. I got like the little ninja blender. That's like just normal cup size blender. That was like awesome when I was making stuff with that. <clears throat> But it's a, a ninja food one to nine. Interesting. Does that just like do so many things? <laughs> it makes life easier, but you have a trick to keep your rice fluffy on the stovetop. I am all ears. <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> Did that just turn into cubes? It's a square now. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> sir, it's good to see you. Tell me you were able to obtain the crystals. Yes, sir. Here you go. Is it going to unlock the crystal tower now? <clears throat> Wonderful. With all four crystals in hand, we are now ready to proceed to the next stage of our preparations. Ah, I hope it did not give the impression that we would be embarking on our journey to the crystal tower just yet. Alas, there is another step which must be completed ere we come to that. While the crystals are you required are indeed flawless, they are of little use to us in their present form. Oh, what do we got to do to them? If they are to reflect the elemental forces of the tower's defense, they must needs be cut and polished. Your great-grandmother lightly damps a paper towel and you'd put it on top of the pot while it steams. You don't know why, but it just keeps your rice nice and fluffy. That trick came in handy when you lived alone. 
and didn't have your own rice cooker. Oh. I'll have to try that and see how it compares. <clears throat> I'm sure it makes sense. Rice cookers are cheap on Amazon, though. Fair. Given how much I've learned to love rice, I really should just get a rice cooker. <laughs> a process which calls for a very particular set of materials. Procuring them will be a challenge in itself, I fear. Needless to say, we will be requiring your services once again. Sure. More dark matter. Nice. Just what I needed. <clears throat> Direct hit determination, sure. If the flawless crystals you procured for us are to retain their elemental purity during the shaping process, a very specific set of abrasive substances will be required. Yeah, we don't want to damage these pure crystals. I'd have to go collect more. I'm sure they only have so many. Well, I say substances, but one might just call them one substance, namely aether sand which has four elementally aspected varieties. Oh, I've never heard of this aether sand. Alas, aether sand is neither common nor cheap. Indeed, it is not unusual for the abrasive to exceed the value of the precious stones it is used to polish. I need to lower this monitor. Ugh. Go down. Oh, <laughs> that was a thud. My monitor was stuck. good <laughs> i got like a wide monitor here but then i got one that kind of just sits behind it a little further back because i put like a tv up on my wall to play my games on instead of having like a smaller monitor uh because <laughs> i basically built a pc to work like a gaming console um so i have that hooked up to my tv and then i i, I never move this monitor so I, I i went to move it and it was stuck and i was just like move <laughs> It's fine, though. <laughs> oh, I'm good. It wasn't the monitor. Ugh. I'm good. <laughs> I appreciate you making sure. Ugh. I got the TV on like a, a I have a standing desk. So I put up a TV on the wall that's on like a mount that can move up and down. Um, so that way when I want to sit down and I lower my desk, I can just push the TV down on the wall. And it's, uh, I like it. It's nicer. It's more, it's a nicer experience having like a bigger screen. I'll never go back to a smaller one. Never. <laughs> but that, but that, that, that thud did actually like, it did startle me because it went down so fast and I'm like, what did I crush? What happened? <laughs> oh, I'm OK. Don't worry. <laughs> what are we doing? We got to get we got to get aether sand and we got to use it to shape a crystal. <laughs> oh, just tell me to stop tinkering. I do it too much. I'm always tinkering with my setup or this room or planning for an upgrade or messing with stuff that's already fine, but I'm like, no, I got to change it a little bit. <laughs> I love it as much chaos as it is. Oh, I need to do that. I never did level up my summoner. I kind of swapped over to black mage, red mage, but I never got my summoner to the point that I could change carbuncle into in, into one of the E guys. And I want to I want like Ifrit as my E guy. It's so cool. I'll do that one of these days. I do want to try out Summoner again. I love like the pure magey casting of Red Mage, Black Mage, though. Well over Summoner, but I'm sure at higher levels, Summoner is going to become a lot cooler when I can summon the bigger dudes. <clears throat> Anyways, given the rarity of the materials in question, the Goldsmiths Guild and Alda seem the likeliest place to purchase the quantity we require. Ooh, I know them well. I got my Goldsmith to 50 now. When I contract contracted what <laughs> English when I contacted the guildmaster however I was informed that no aether sand was currently available 
Though I requested that word be sent as soon as new stock came in, I have yet to receive aught but apologies. I should mention at this point that I placed the order some time before you procured the flawless crystals. I am well aware that acquiring aether sand is no small feat, of course. And I am not an impatient man. But I fear the more we delay our investigation, the greater the risk that the tower's secrets may fall into the hands of other, less savory parties. This is why I wish to entrust you with the payment for our purchase, and send you to speak directly with the Guildmaster Serendipity. Mayhap the presence of such a distinguished personage will spur the guild into action? In any event, it is my hope that when next we meet, you will have found at least one of the four varieties we require. Hopefully. Alright, to the Goldsmith Guild, let's go! I know Serendipity well. She taught me everything I know. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, Gregorius? Been a while. We're pushing to get done 14. <clears throat> Uh, Realm Reborn. <clears throat> More people at Twitch then? Oh, I've gotten so many people visiting on Twitch. I'm glad I started streaming to both, honestly. Because I've had a couple people when I first started on YouTube, but immediately starting on Twitch, there was just so many people that were tuning in, and they've all been so helpful. <clears throat> Where are we going? Ghostmith Guild. Um, yes, serendipity. What is this? Is that a cactuar? Hold up. You can get a cactuar minion? Oh, I need that. <laughs> I need a cactuar minion and I need a tonberry tin. Tinion? What? English? Those are my two favorites. They're basically iconic. <laughs> when I got Blue Mage and got my Thousand Needles, I was ecstatic. <laughs> ah, Master Shadow. Welcome, welcome. What brings you here, if I may ask? Money. For you. <laughs> You're here on behalf of the Sons of Saint Coinock? What fortunate timing. I was just about to contact Master Rambrose with the news that we finally managed to acquire a quantity of fire aspected aether sand. I'm afraid it may be some time before we can supply the other three varieties. But you are welcome to settle accounts for that which we have now. Pray speak with Jemime over there. Ah, I do beg your pardon. It seems she's assisting another customer. I ain't got time for this. Who are you? Oh, it's Biggs. How's it going, Biggs? Come on. There must be something you can do. Without that sand, we'll have to rethink our whole design. No, it's our sand. Get out of here. <laughs> I sympathize with your plight, sir. But as I explained, the Aether sand in question is already spoken for. If you'd like to reserve the next shipment, then I would be happy to accept the funds you've offered as partial payment. Partial? Are you saying it isn't enough? I'm already stretching our research budget as it is. I suppose a man can do without a midday meal for a year or two. Ah, poor Biggs. <clears throat> Looks different with that bun ear. Yeah. I kind of got it going on some of my some of my uh glamours though. Cause my goal is to become Viera. I just I bought I bought the 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 complete edition 60% off on the spring sale I got going right now. So I'm holding the code, but I'm like so enticed to go ahead and put it in so I can become a Viera. But I'm like, no, I got time to hold it. Wait. <laughs> At least finished Realm Reborn first. <laughs> <clears throat> but that is the final goal. So when I saw these ears in the golden saucer, I'm like, heck yeah. It's not fully Viera, but it works. <laughs> Sir, it's been too long. Yeah, how's it going, Biggs? What's up? <clears throat> what brings you here, then? Got your eye on something expensive, have you? 
Yeah, actually, it's that thing you want. And I got the money for it. <laughs> He's like, oh, what a big bag of money. <clears throat> what data center do I play on? Yep. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. It says Excalibur down at the bottom. Is that data center or is that something else? Whatever Excalibur relates to. <clears throat> I'm on Primal. Yeah, I knew nothing about data centers when I first started playing, but me and my brother were like, oh, Excalibur sounds cool. And I'm like, yeah, you pick the name. And he was like, let's play Excalibur. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's how we chose. <laughs> Other than that, I know nothing. <laughs> well, now, that is quite a money pouch. The sound of so many gill clinking together is strangely satisfying, is it not? Calming and yet invigorating at the same time. The only part that concerns me is that when I log in, I already have a queue of having to wait of like 10, 18 people. And the DLC hasn't even come out yet. So I'm a little concerned that maybe I'm on a server that isn't full. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <clears throat> oh no, you're here for the blooming Aether Sand, aren't you? Cool name equals more people, right? <laughs> You're not wrong, Gregorius. You're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, I like being on a fuller server. Like, I don't know how the server is like changed with a different number of people. <clears throat> but. Well, I can't deny the elegant civilizations, a subject worth researching. The chief said he was looking into something big, but we never thought to ask him what. Oh, that's right, yeah, because, like, Sid and them, they're on the same. Wanted to give me a gift? I don't think you can. Because if you're trying to trade me something, I'm on free trial, so I can't... I can't trade. <clears throat> Wedge and I have been too busy tinkering with a new airship design to think of much else, see? Well, I say tinkering. Wrestling would be more like it. Oh, but the boiled eggs. No, not the boiled eggs. <laughs> it can be my gift as soon as I finally put this code that's in my pocket in and become a Viera. <laughs> Still, after much wringing of hands and gnashing of teeth, we even managed to put together a prototype crystal-powered propulsion system. Yes, save the gift, Cabby. I will, I will accept it as soon as I can. <laughs> It'll be a reward for getting through it. Promise. Nice. <laughs> I want. I'm, I don't know when I want to put in. I mean, I went ahead and just pre-ordered um, Dawn Trail for the earrings as well. Whenever I like, while I was picking that up, because I figured now is the best time to grab those leveling earrings, since I'm literally leveling every job. Um. <clears throat> So I have until December to use that code. So it'll probably be around December at the latest, right? When I put in my code. Um, yeah, Gregorius, I'm still in free trial. Um, but I went ahead and bought the code since I had a 60% off sale going on. Um, and of course, I, I didn't upgrade through the Mog station. I just bought it off the Square Enix store so I got emailed my code so I can put them in whenever I'm ready. But since I went ahead and just pre-ordered Dawn Trail, I figured picking up those pre-order earrings. Um, yeah, I went ahead and pre-ordered it because I figured now is the best time as ever to get the earrings since I'm literally leveling everything. <clears throat> and then I picked up the complete edition, which gives me all the DLCs and everything. Well, I guess... I guess I would have gotten... Well, no, because in order to get the... I, I I went ahead and picked up the Collector's Edition on 60% off. Because that seems like the best sale that's ever been on the Collector's Edition items. And I love my glamours and my collection, so I wanted the Collector's Edition items. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, should you buy Old Expansion to play Dawn Trail? I have to pick up one of the editions to play Dawn Trail. 
Because I, I think if you buy Dawn Trail, you get Shadowbringers and Endwalker anyways. But since I wanted the collector's editions, it was like I could have saved money and gotten the standard edition. Because buying Dawn Trail, I would have gotten Endwalkers and Shadowbringers as well, I'm pretty sure. But... <clears throat> Oh, Cabby, you got the collector's golden box? Nice. I mean, the physical stuff looks cool. I'm just... I've already missed all the other ones. I mean, if it was a caster, maybe I would have picked up the statue. <laughs> but I got the digital collectors as well, because I was like, eh, why not? I just picked up the rest of the collectors. <clears throat> so with these two codes, I'll get the pre-order earrings which will give me the level boost on kills and everything, which is kind of like eh, minimal usefulness maybe. But I figured if any time to pre-order and pick up the earrings is going to be beneficial right now when I'm literally leveling everything is going to give me the most benefit out of all. I mean, I'm sure they're helpful in higher levels when you're trying to make that push to the next level cap. So like, yeah, they're always going to be useful. But the fact that I'm literally leveling everything, I'm like, oh, these are the most useful the earrings will ever be. Let me go ahead and just pick it up because I'm already picking up the complete collector's edition for all of the old collector's edition items, 60% off. So I was like, might as well go ahead and pre-order and just have everything going forward. And then sometime around December going into the new year, I'll transition into the full game and then start paying for that. So I figured since I have till December to input the pre-order code and I'm picking up the full game now so I have the code at a cheaper price and everything, I'm like, all right, cool. Because when I, when I looked at the collector's edition stuff, a couple months ago when they had the anniversary sale going on, the collector's edition stuff, I was reading on like Reddit and whatnot that it's been forever since they've discounted stuff, especially at 50% off like that. And I'm like... Well, if it's 60% off now, I might as well get the collector stuff. Because if it's not going to have a big sale like that, I'm assuming that sale is because of the expansion. I don't know. But still, 60% off. I'm like, oof, how can I deny that? And since I've been craving to become a Viera anyways, picking up that code was like, I'm doing it. <laughs> <clears throat> Plus, I love my glam, so there's no way I wasn't picking up the collector's edition. Like, it's... <laughs> I'm in the beginning of the game and I'm already caring about glams like that's like end game <laughs> um, Gregorius you're also leveling everything that earring will really help you're leveling everything except Fisher I think Fisher's fun like I actually enjoyed fishing I don't know if I want to do it for hours and hours upon end but I like I like the cool like gambling part of like the chances of you getting a certain fish and then mooching it to get a bigger fish and then if you get the right fish you get to mooch it into a giant fish and then when I saw the cutscene on the level 50 fisher quest where that 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 third fish that I fished up through mooching twice was actually like 30 feet tall I'm like this is awesome <laughs> <clears throat> If you want to see easy level fisher go ocean fishing. I haven't done ocean fishing yet. I really need to. <clears throat> You'll get capped in no time. Yeah, ocean fishing is one thing I haven't done. I really need to just try it out. You think you did the right thing. Glam is end game, but you got to look fancy, right? I love glamming my character. I, I love building my character. I love glamming my character. It's... <laughs> Glam is life. Glam is 100% life. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I'll use the code before then, but I'll definitely use it by December. Because I was thinking if I use the code now, let's say, that'll still be what? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Eight months that I would have to be paying subscription on. And then obviously the December month would be free, for instance, right? Or, you know, one of the months would be free. In eight months at the cheapest of $13, that's like $100. So if I wait till December, I save myself $100, which is the money I just spent on all the items. <laughs> right? So I'm like, I'm like, maybe I wait to December now because that's when my pre-order expires. And then I save myself 100 bucks and not 
you know, I'd love to pay the developers for a game like this that I really love enjoying playing. So like, it's not like I'm trying to like not squeeze out as much free trial as I want. Like I can spend the money, like I can afford it and paying the devs for a game that I love playing. It's like, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> but given that I can't even benefit from any of it right now, I figured I might just wait till December unless I cave. I'm holding off, the, like the gold saucer ears are the only reason I haven't caved and put the code in to become a Viera. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, but at the same time. <clears throat> um, like white and black mage have ugly gear in a realm reborn in your opinion. So yeah, you got a glam. Yeah, I love I love the golden saucer robes for for my black mage. That's my go to one. And honestly, for my white mage, I just love the cleric robes best. <clears throat> it's like those two are my two glams right now. I mean, I haven't I haven't updated them with my glamour plate recently, but I got to do that because I had to throw my cleric's robe into my because I just got my gearworks robes, the 170 item level for my white mage. Um, so I had to throw my cleric's robes into my chest, so I gotta go do that and get my robes back on that I like better. Uh, Gregorius, you already try to look fancy since first month of playing the game, right? You have to. <laughs> There's no exception, you have to. You already paid subs for three years, almost four? Dang. That's crazy. I'll get there one day. I'll get there one day. I heard there's a few items you can get for subbing for a certain period of time, too. Like the robes, like the gear for Cloud. I think Cloud's gear is one of them. So subbing gets me glams, too. So, I mean... <laughs> I forget what the other two, but apparently there's three or something I was seeing when I was looking at the prices for subscription. <clears throat> I got to figure out how I want to pay subscription, though, because I don't know what the difference between the, the the entry subscription and the normal subscriptions are. Is it really just because, like, I could pay per six months to get the price down to $13 a month, or I could pay the entry subscription, which is also $13 a month. And I'm like, for me, it doesn't matter. But <clears throat> you want to refund all your money? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I guess that is crazy, but I guess everybody's subscribing for all the time. Like, yeah, free trial people get a lot of stuff right now. But at the same time, people subscribing is kind of what made the game what it is right now as well, allowing them to do as much as they do. <clears throat> you want you want long time subs to get the expansion for free <laughs> or at least discounted, right? Like people that have subbed for a certain period of time get like a discount off of it. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, what's going on? Right, uh, Aetheric Sand or something. Aether Sand. We got the idea for it when we heard how you lot used a corrupted crystal on board of the Enterprise. As a matter of fact. Anyway, I cut a long story short. Our design calls for all four varieties of Aether Sand. Ugh. But we need the Aether Sand. Do you have the other ones? And that's why I can't just relinquish my claim on this batch here. Even for you, lad. How are... Ooh. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach. <laughs> I got a lion in my stomach. What was that? <laughs> How are we meant to usher in a brave new age of technological innovation, if not by technologically innovating, eh? <laughs> Wait, <clears throat> you say like China mainland server slash data center of the game get the expansion for free? What? I've never heard of that. But they're kind of late first three to five months. Oh. There's a monster inside of me. It, there was a monster inside of me. I am now the shadows. I'm breeding monsters. Uh. <laughs> Hear my demons roar. 
<laughs> My stomach's never done that before. What is that? <laughs> My demons are talking. Uh, <laughs> they have an opinion. Listen to them. Embrace the demons. <laughs> <laughs> While I hesitate to interrupt such an impassioned speech, duty compels me to point out that this gentleman is a representative of the organization that reserved the Aether Sand in question, to mention nothing of the fact that his purse is considerably larger than yours. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> it was so loud. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh. Yeah, Biggs, I'm not trying to take stuff from you. It's just that this man reserved it a long time ago. We're trying to get into a crystal tower. All right, all right. This batch is yours. I'll let you have it. But if you're going to take my sand, it's only fair that you grant me a role in this project of yours. Sure. If you want to help get into the tower, why not? You hope it's just gas, nothing serious? I don't know what it means, but I guess I'll find out. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Ah, it's not every day you get a chance to experiment with the wonders of the ancients. With any luck, they'll inspire me to think up another technological innovation or two. Hopefully. That'd be good. I mean, I did eat an entire pan of crescent rolls, of cinnamon rolls, before I went to bed and then woke up and had coffee. <laughs> Maybe my stomach is just angry at me. <laughs> it was a horrible idea, but I did it anyways. <laughs> now then, from what you've told me, I'm guessing you'll be needing the other three varieties of elemental expected aether sand as well. Yes, actually. Are you ready to help? Then, rather sitting on your rump waiting for a shipment that may never come, I reckon your time would be better spent looking for the stuff yourself. I can do that. Tell me how, Biggs. And it just happens that I know a good place to start. Ooh. There is said to be a peddler in northern Thanalon who very occasionally handles the earth-aspected variety of aether sand. Wedge is in the process of coming the rumor as we speak. I know what you're thinking. When did my timid little friend decide he didn't need me to hold his hand anymore? The answer being just the other day. Seems he's been inspired by a certain adventurer's heroic example. I thought he was joking when he volunteered to go to Thanalon without me. I just hope he manages to stay out of trouble. Hopefully. Head out to Blue Frog and you should find him poking about with his new bodyguard. Oh, did I not mention her? Aye. Wedge thought it might be wise to hire an adventurer to accompany him. Just in case your heroic example turned out to be less inspiring than he thought. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> friend request. Now I got two friends. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Where am I going? Blue Frog. That's Northern Thanalon? Whoops. <laughs> Slash wave. Bam. <gasps> you got an Ariman minion? I need that guy. How do I get that guy? <laughs> I like your dress. That's cool. Oh, no, he has an Ariman minion. I want that too. <laughs> How do I do that? Wasn't that the recent one? I think that was the recent one. Yeah, it was. Oh, you got the cactuar. Oh, I need that. <laughs> I need the cactuar. What is the coolest one I have? <clears throat> it's a quest. Ooh, I definitely need that one. The coolest minion I have. Honestly, I love my fat chocobo. <laughs> the fat chocobo is good. I like my bat. I I recently did the fates to get the bat. The bat was cool. <clears throat> oh, you got the kitten. I like the little black curl. I seen I've seen a few different cur uh, like kittens. Uh, 
Um, the bomb's a good one. Oh yeah, I got this one. I got the little chocobo. Oh, I, I love I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at his face. <laughs> He's too good. Look at that innocent little face. <laughs> The way he runs around, he's so derpy. And I love him. <laughs> Can I pet him? <laughs> isn't there isn't there a pet? I don't remember. I can poke him. I poked him. I thought there was a pet. I don't see it. I gotta learn all the different stuff. How's it going, Phantom? I am enjoying my derpy minions. We're going for Aether Sand right now. <clears throat> oh, look at that guy. <laughs> He's adorable. I haven't seen that one before. I like, I like that guy. Can I pet him? Is that, is that an option? Oh, I haven't seen that one either. Oh, they could go on your shoulder? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Where is it at? There it is. A minion thing's in the way. I like that. That's cool. Can't click on him. <laughs> this guy's name's Captain Crunch. <laughs> what? I didn't even notice that. That guy's name's Captain Crunch. <laughs> it's funny. It's your little baby. It's adorable. I like that. <laughs> <clears throat> I've only seen a couple minion that were on people's shoulders. <clears throat> I'm assuming only certain ones can do that. What's that? <gasps> oh, it's the Tonberry. I need that. Is that the wind up Tonberry? Yeah, don't I get that from treasure hunting? You have that one? What? Oh. <laughs> I think I read that you can get him in the treasure hunting list <clears throat> from one of the treasure maps. You had an extra, so you wanted to gift it to me? No, maybe I shouldn't put the code now. <laughs> tempting, tempting. Viera. Tonberry and Viera. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would love him forever. <clears throat> Somebody recently gifted me the little lamp. The little Tonberry lamp. <clears throat> now I got him on my left shelf. I got the Tonberry lamp. Look at this man. His eyes glow. <laughs> I like him. He sits on my shelf in my studio now. It's great. <clears throat> yeah, somebody found out I loved Tonberries and they were like, I got you this. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, how adorable. <laughs> Thick nuggets. <laughs> Look at that man. Yeah, I love him. He's great. I like the way I I, I, I like the way he moves around. <laughs> he just bounces around. It's great. Glams and minions. They're great. I haven't used this guy yet. I just got this guy. I haven't used him yet. <laughs> oh yeah, the Spriggan. I have a I have a different minion that summons with my gear set. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> I turned him into a Spriggan. So like whenever I whenever I change my 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 gear set macros, I have I have a specific minion that pops up with each one. <clears throat> so I like I like the Spriggan with my black mage right now. <clears throat> oh yeah, that guy. That guy's alright. I was kind of 50-50, but I finally decided just to pick him up. 
and try them out. Oh, I forgot about this one. The, the unlucky rabbit, little stuffed rabbit. I like this one. He's adorable. <laughs> he just like hops around. My little stuffed rabbit. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> He's so weird. He's an egg. <laughs> Oh no. I like this one, my little spoopy ghost. He's simple yet adorable. <clears throat> he reminds me of the Mimikyu from Pokemon, where it's like you can tell there's a sprite inside of him because of the little legs, but he's covering himself up. He's got a chef's hat. <laughs> he's got different outfits, what the heck. I have, what, 24 minions? <clears throat> Edit minion hot bar. Oh, right, that's that. Got it. <clears throat> oh, look at him, he's so fancy. <laughs> I like that one, that one's good. <laughs> it's like a little owl thing, but it has like these weird spindly arms. I find him creepily adorable. He's adorable, yet something about him creeps me out. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That one's good. I don't I don't like the green Gala Cat as much, but that one's really cool. I like I like I like that one. <clears throat> that one's good. I like that. I have the green Gala Cat, right? I don't like the green one as much. I don't? Oh, I don't. I thought I did for some reason. The green one looks like your cat being IRL, so you adore it. It is adorable. Yeah, it is adorable. <laughs> oh, green's your favorite color. I like green. It's not bad. I prefer, like, accenting my characters with a blue or a red over green. <clears throat> oh, he can go on your shoulder, too. <laughs> nice. It's adorable with the, like, how they just stand on your shoulder. It's so good. <laughs> Wizbang says, now I forget Crystal Tower already. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wizbang. I'm sorry. I got distracted by minions. <laughs> I told myself I would MSQ yesterday, and now I'm already distracted. You're right. <laughs> it's Cabby's fault. She showed me all the adorable minions I don't have. <laughs> oh, I missed that emote. I was playing around the time that that emote event was up, but I never picked it up. <clears throat> I'll have I'll have to pick up that little like emote. I want the Arium too. I want the little Ariman, that guy's Ariman. Because then I could have my Ariman buddy follow me around and as a mount. <laughs> but yes, what are we doing? Whizbang, we are we are on the part of the quest where we got to go get Aether Sands. And Biggs told me where I can find them. <clears throat> you forget how I get that one? I'll have to look up all the ones that I want to get and figure out how to get them. <clears throat> <laughs> The, 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 the minions were too adorable, Wizbang. All right. Because, <laughs> like, a lot of the minions that I've picked up have been really easy so far. Like the, like, like, the little marble seedling was, like, a guaranteed drop in the one dungeon. So it was, like, I haven't had to really look up minions yet. Um, I know there's a couple minions that I have missed. Maybe missed is the wrong word. Um, when I first learned about the treasure hunting and the digging and everything. I never got, uh, I never, uh, I looked through the list of all the different treasure maps and what, what, like, like, what you can get out of them. <clears throat> There's three in a Realm Reborn people miss? Oh, no. You have to let me know which one of those are that are missable so I can make sure to get them. Sun, Moon are the ones you want. I have the Sun one. I, I can't, 
I have all the resources to craft the moon. I just haven't gotten it yet. But I found this one right away as soon as I got to the island. <clears throat> and you can poke it and it goes up and down. I want to get the moon. But I haven't done it yet. A lot of people miss sun and moon. It is so missable. It's just this tiny little pot guy on the one island. <clears throat> Many minions can get from dungeon and yellow quest also. Really? You can get minions from yellow quests? I mean, I'm going to get to the yellow quest eventually, but... <laughs> it is it is a very random NPC. And then on top of that, you also have to have either the ability to craft it or know where to buy the potion you need to give him because it's what the elixir and the high elixir i have what it takes to make wait can i make the high elixir yet <clears throat> i think it's the high elixir i can't make it yet i don't have enough control i need 318 control in order to get the high elixir um <clears throat> <laughs> the rest of you know is the boyfriend that's an Omni crafter. <laughs> I definitely like I have all the resources. I went and collected all the resources to make the high elixir. I just need 318 control, so I can't do it yet. How much control do I have? Oh, I'm actually almost there. I only need eight more control. Do I have <laughs> nice to meet you? Yes, yes, I know, I know. I'm like, I'm like right there to getting it myself, though. <laughs> Do I have, uh... Ooh, I do have control. Can I go ahead and actually make that now? Let me meld some controls on. <clears throat> I might actually be able to make it now. And yes, Wizbang, I am also distracted again already. <laughs> I teleported the area I needed to go, and I'm already distracted again. Because <laughs> if I only need 318 control, ugh, I'm a little short. I'm at what, 316 now? I mean, what are my chances of... Controlling a 44% chance. Are they all 44% chance? Probably. How many do I have? Nine? I mean... Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, I got it first try. I double melded first try. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said I should be able to make it now it doesn't need to be high quality does it <clears throat> I don't think it needs to be high quality we'll make it high quality anyways Aha! Hi, Elixirs. I have them now. Where was he at? Who's this? Oh. <laughs> That's the person I was supposed to be talking to. Side quest. <laughs> Where was the pot guy? I already forget. I didn't write it down. Uh-oh. Western Lenosha in the Umbral Isles. <clears throat> I did write it down. Western Lenosha. Umbral Isles are down here. Let's go! That was honestly probably all thanks to me finally getting to level 50 and crafting my... I leveled up my Weaver and I've been crafting all the different crafter armors for all of my 
for all of my crafters using my weaver and my leather worker. I'm still missing the hat. Or I guess, no, the alchemist doesn't have a hat. The alchemist has like the eyepiece thing. <clears throat> so, and of course, all of the gear I'm crafting, I'm crafting high quality, which would be better than I could probably get it otherwise. Whoops. But yeah, that's that's what I've been working on recently off stream after work and such is getting all my stuff collected. It took so long. I literally killed dozens and dozens and dozens of hippogriffs to get all their leather <laughs> for all for all my leather working stuff. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Cabby, you like you like Final Fantasy X. When I first saw these, the instant thing, I instantly thought about the sin spawns from Final Fantasy X. There's no way that's not what these are modeled after. <laughs> right? They are definitely Sin Spawn. There's no way they're not. Where's the pot? I already forgot. There he is. Definitely, right? Oops. Wrong button. Get the right button. I got this. <laughs> All right, Magic Pot. He looks cool, too. I want a minion of him. <clears throat> Can you just join me on my adventures? Wind up moon. Success. We did it. Yay. Put that back in my saddlebag. Actually, I need that red land trap leaf. Honey? Don't need the honey. Get rid of that. What is this? Hippogriff skin? We'll hold on to that. Whoops. I tried to put it in my saddlebag. Get out of your saddlebag. <laughs> Success! I wish, like, the moons would follow you. I don't like how they are stationary. I mean, like, the campfire one you can craft, that kind of makes sense to be stationary. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh. Wait, what is this? Why is there a moon here? Is that my moon? <laughs> I can't click on it. Um, take this. I got this. Trust me. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> How do I escape? Send help. <laughs> it's just bing with the hammer. Gee, I don't want to run into other people. Leave me alone. <laughs> So nope. All right, I'm good. <clears throat> Minion guides. So now we got the moon. Ooh. I like the light off of this one. It's more blue versus the bright yellow. I like it much better. The moon is so good. I wish it was a slightly different, like, I wish it was a different looking minion versus being the same one that's just a different color. I feel like it would look so much nicer, especially as a moon, if it was just modeled slightly different. But I guess the background around it is, you know, the light from the sun was causing damage or something to people. Isn't that the lore behind it? So they made the moon as like a follow up to the sun because they were using it in mines or something. <clears throat> um, yeah, the wind up sun may be causing the very blemishes that they thought to hide. So demand for a less radiant alternative, which is why they made the moon. So I guess it makes sense that they're kind of modeled the same because they just basically changed the light off of the sun one where they were trying to extra light. <clears throat> Peloton? What is Peloton? Isn't Peloton the bard and dancers like support run ability? All right, what were we doing? <laughs> we gotta, we gotta go back. <laughs> we gotta go back to Camp Blue Frog. <laughs> gives you a speed buff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Peloton gives you the speed buff. Is that a speed buff from Peloton better than a normal sprint, or is it just like an AOE sprint? Yes, we were doing the tower. I remember now. Where, where am I at? What, what is going on? Give me to Northern Thanalon. 
Get me the camp, blue frog. Thank you. Yeah, now that the distractions are done, <laughs> let me actually check magic pot off my list of things to do. I had put it at the bottom of my list of things to do, so I had forgotten about it. <laughs> but minion endeavors are over. We have finished side questing our minions. Unless there's another one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, let, let's let's put our red mage back on, and then <laughs> let's talk to this adventurer. <laughs> oh, the distractions are real. All right, what what what, what is what is going on? We, what are we doing? We're going after the other three Aether Sands so we can get into the Crystal Tower. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Save your greetings. If you're looking for a hired blade, then you'll have to look elsewhere. I'm a caster, all right? I'll be fine. Thank you. After the day I've had, the only company I crave is the squat, silent type. The type that has a handle and holds no less than a pint of ale. What? You want me to make you some ale? I don't think I got a crafter that can do that yet. My, I don't think my culinarian is skilled enough to be able to do that. <clears throat> Hmm? You want to hear my tale? I warn you, tis no stirring epic. But as you asked, my employer, a Lalafelon lad, wished to pay a visit to a peddler who deals in some manner of special sand. I forget what it was called, but tis apparently worth a small fortune. When we arrived, the man claimed his stock had been stolen by bandits. Determined to not return empty-handed, we crept into the bandit's stronghold and set about locating the stolen goods. Long story short, alarms were raised. Rogues were awoken, and we fled in a blind panic. I was separated from my employer in the confusion, and I've not seen him since. Oh, a friend of yours, is he? Then you'd be best prepared for the worst. Tis just possible the poor sod may yet be lost in the old of Amagina, Mithril Mine. Wait, Wedge? She was the one that was with Wedge, I forgot. Oh no, <laughs> it just hit me out of nowhere. I forgot Wedge had a hired sword who was helping them out. Oh no, <laughs> Wedge. <laughs> but I fear the bandits will have caught up with him by now. After tower, I will tell you where to get the Cactuar quest. It's a level 47 quest. Ooh, so I can do it now, nice. Okay, we won't do it now. We have, we've had enough distractions. <laughs> Smart of you not to tell me now, because you know I will side quest. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, we got to go rescue Wedge. Oh, Wedge is actually up over here. No distractions. Tower first. Yes, yes. Let's go. Where are we going? North. Ariman, away. <clears throat> Ugh. All right, we're going over here. Wedge, Wedge, where are you at, buddy? Oh, it's this place. Ooh, with all the lunatics. <clears throat> That's okay. We'll destroy the lunatics. Get out of here, fools. Where's my buddy? We got to save the Lollafell man. Whoops. Who are these lunatics, though? <clears throat> and why are they lunatics? Who exactly are they following? One must know. Ah, jeez. Now we attracted the grenade. Boom! <laughs> Get out of here, sucker! All right, where's my Lollafell friend? There he is. Wedge, are you okay? I came to help you, buddy. How could I be so stupid? Sneaking into a bandit's lair, it's its just not the sort of thing I do. And now I'm gonna die for it. No, no, I just need to calm down. I can do this. I can be brave. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna walk out of here. Here we go. That's a horrible idea, Wedge. <laughs> 
Although I'm glad you came to your senses now that I'm standing behind you after killing all the lunatics. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm, please don't kill me. I promise I'll never come back. Why did you come here in the first place? <clears throat> I forget. Sir, is it really you? But how did you find me? Can you smell fear? Maybe. I don't know. Actually, ignore that smell. Uh, I expect you're wondering why I'm here. Well, I was just in the process of retrieving some stolen aether sand, which Biggs and I need for our research as it happens. It was, I concede, perhaps a touch foolish and very nearly fatal, but I did succeed in snatching the stuff up. Before my bodyguard ran away, several dozen bandits came piling after me with knives and axes and uh, it looked very much like a plank with a rusty nail in it. Anyway, the important thing is that the stolen aether sand is right here in my... Oh dear, oh no. It must have fallen out when I was taking evasive maneuvers. It seems I won't be leaving this infernal place for a while yet. Fine, alright. I will help you out. You'll find the aether sand in my stead? Yeah, you, you stay here and hide. I will protect the place. <laughs> oh, thank God, you're such a true friend, sir. I hope the search doesn't prove too troublesome. The bandits don't seem to care much for visitors. Probably because they're lunatics worshipping something I haven't learned about yet. Does he just not know that I'm here? I like that he respawned and is just chilling out outside the door. <laughs> Imagine the look on his face when he just got attacked by magical swords. Who's attacking me? Get out of here. <clears throat> Be gone. Where are we going? What are we looking for? We gotta find the earth sand. Got it. There it is. I'm just gonna run over here and I'm gonna fight this guy. Back attack. Haha. -ha. Are you still not down? <laughs> I always forget to set up my auto attack. <clears throat> For some reason, I never have it on. All right, free sand, got it. Can I just run behind the pillar? Oh, oh, oh he saw me. Wedge, help. <laughs> He's gonna explode. Uh oh. Aha! I exploded him first. Wedge? I did it, buddy. <clears throat> Sir, have you had any luck locating the Aether Sand? Yep. I considered keeping it for myself, but since you found it first, here you go. Yes, that's it! I must return to the workshop at once and tell Biggs the wonderful news. Oh, what's that? You're also on a mission to collect Aether Sand. And you're working with the Chief? A treasure trove of elegant knowledge, you say? I see. Then you should really be the one to have this. Biggs and I are far from exhausting all possible avenues of airship innovation. But it sounds as if your problem can't be solved by any other means. This expedition of yours sounds jolly interesting, I must say. I'm half inclined to join you. In fact, I think I will. Any venture worth the Chief's time must be worth a look. Right. I'm more than ready to leave this awful place behind. And you should return to Mordona with that aether sand before there is any more little mishaps. Be sure to keep close eye in your pockets. Oh, don't worry. You may be running out of here, but I'm teleporting. <laughs> Good luck running out of here, bud. I wish you the best. Try not to get caught by bandits. You probably should have teleported. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> <clears throat> I put I put my mount key on my mouse and I keep accidentally clicking my auto run key instead. <clears throat> Ooh. Bunch of geese. No, we won't. Tempting. I'm not against a few free levels. All right, Rambros, I have what you are looking for. Actually, I have two. Ah, sir, you've returned. 
I take from your presence that you were successful in procuring us some aether sand. Tell me, which variety did you find? <clears throat> More donuts? <laughs> we got some fire kissed aether sand and some earth cradled aether sand just for you, bud. So that's two of the four we need. <clears throat> I see. Two varieties. Well, that is two more than could reasonably be expected, and two less than I had hoped you would say. Forgive my flippancy. What does flippancy mean? <laughs> you have done well, truly. If all goes to plan, we need no longer fear death by fire or earth. Are we going to test that out? Master Garland, if you would be so kind as to prepare the relevant crystals... I shall. Set to work immediately. Truth be told, I've been looking forward to this. One does not encounter materials like this every day. No, sir. Speaking of which, how in the seven's hell did you find them? Mistake me not, old friend. I know only too well how capable you are, but aether sand isn't something you simply find gathering dust at the back of a merchant's rare gem cabinet. Biggs and Wedge. Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> you had to help them, did you? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Trust them to design a revolutionary new engine the moment I turn my back. How's a genius meant to rest on his laurels when his employees are so damnably inventive? <laughs> and now they're determined to join us, are they? Typical. I'll take the help. I jest, of course. It would be good to have them around, still. As a matter of professional pride, let's endeavor to procure the remaining two varieties of aether sand before they arrive, shall we? Tell me, Rambrose, have we any information on where the water and wind expected crystal types might be hiding? Not as of yet, but I have made certain arrangements. We shall soon see if my efforts have borne fruit. Fruit? We don't need fruit. We need aether sand. <laughs> Forgive me for observing, but you seem less than enthusiastic about that prospect. If there's a complication, I'd rather we discuss it now than risk jeopardizing the expedition. <sighs> Mayhap an explanation is in order, but first, let us savor the preliminary victory that Sir has won for our cause, if only for a moment. And by that, you mean it's a separate quest. <laughs> um, uh, uh... Uh, 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 Heaven's Eye? Sure. I don't know the difference. I know direct hit and critical hit are both, like, critically things. Do I have room in my saddlebag for that? Nope. Alright, what do I need to get rid of? Mega Potion of Vitality. Maybe. Ice Blue Dye. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I probably won't be using that, because that's probably a lighter blue. And then we'll put the Heaven's Eye in. <clears throat> I need to continue my crafting and actually get rid of all these resources. I didn't feel like collecting resources multiple times, so like I've been collecting and saving all of my resources for my crafters. <laughs> that way I don't have to go get them again. Whenever I collect a resource, I'll check it to see how many other crafting things it can make, and then I'll save that many so I don't have to go collect it a second time. But unfortunately, because I'm doing all of my crafters at once, my inventory is just full. When you get retainers, that'll help with space. Good, good. And it's not like I need a lot of space for leveling through the main story quest right now anyways. Honestly, like... So, like, I'm not against it filling up my inventory. <clears throat> I haven't hit a point where it, like, becomes actually full. Um... I mean, maybe during some of my crafting quests, but like with stuff like this, it's like, eh, whatever. Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess what we get from this quest, the high elixir that I just spent forever trying to make. <laughs> Turns out, had I just done the main story quest and quit getting distracted. <laughs> you know what? I, that is that is that is very due to happen to me. <laughs> That was a very fitting thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I need the potions anyways. Because this gives me up to 1920 max health points. So 
having these elixirs since I don't have any right now um, would probably be, be good. People buy them? Nice. Well, I can't even access the market board right now anyways. So it's not like I could sell them anyways. So I might as well just use these ones. I might as well grab those and use them since I actually need potions right now. <clears throat> At least until I get my cure. <clears throat> That's the one benefit I feel like Summoner has on low levels is you actually have a cure at low levels. Whereas Red Mage doesn't get it till later in the other classes. I mean, the melee ones have heals, which was actually kind of nice. But as far as the casters go, Black Mage and Red Mage, it's just kind of like you're on your own and you have to use potions. So when I first tried out Black and Red Mage swapping off a of Summoner, I'm like, this sucks. I can't heal myself. <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm looking forward to Red Mage getting their heal here soon. Yes, yes. I must speak of the arrangements I made to acquire the two remaining varieties of Aether Sand. Some days ago, I asked a Charlayan acquaintance of mine to travel to Gridania, and there gather their necessary materials. Since that time, however, I have heard nary a whisper from him. To be frank, this lack of communication is not entirely uncharacteristic, but I cannot discount the possibility that something ill has befallen the man. Alas, we do not have the time to investigate his fate. As I have mentioned before, the more we delay our expedition, the more likely it is that the Crystal Tower's secrets will fall into the wrong hands. Therefore, I would entrust you with the same mission I assigned my friend. Travel to the Black Shroud and seek out Parsimontrit. Parsimontrit? Cool. <laughs> the master of the market in Gridania. Oh. If anyone knows where Aether Sand might be bought, it is he. To Gridania, let's go. <clears throat> All right, it's this guy is. I haven't seen the full outfit yet. Look at this big ban. <laughs> to your homeland, yes. I like that. I saw somebody wearing the head, but it was, uh, I don't know what they were. It is a chonky Viera. <laughs> I saw, I saw somebody having that as their blue mage attire. Oh, I was wondering what this looked like. That's kind of cool. I saw that when I was looking at the online shop. I got distracted. Hold on. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to the, uh, I think the Leather Workers Guild is the closest. Spooky? Yes. <laughs> I like all the spooky stuff. I don't know that I like that that much. It's kind of fun and gimmicky. <clears throat> I saw the mount the other day of somebody that has the balloons that just kind of float around in the balloons. I saw the umbrella the other day too. The black one that kind of has like the... Was it like bubbles or something? They were both pretty cool. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say you wish to purchase Aether Sand? My dear fellow, have you the fantiest idea? Fantiest? English? <laughs> have you the faintest idea of the rarity of material you seek? Why, I have not seen so much as a grain of Aether Sand in these markets for many a long year. You want the umbrella? Which one? Cause isn't there the mounts are expensive that's true i think the shadow wolf i was looking at was like 25 bucks but i also heard it doesn't even have unique music the pink that's right i like the blue one obviously because i like the darker aesthetic stuff but the pink one's pretty cute too <clears throat> i can tell you where one might find the ore from which the water respected variety of the abrasive is derived but only a desperate fool would willingly set foot in that place. <laughs> you seem undeterred, though, so very well. You want the pink one? Yeah, the pink one's cute. Are you familiar with Earth's Gift? Earth's Gift. I am, but I forget where that's at. That is where the ore is to be found. In an area inhabited by a particularly pernicious hog. Should you encounter the betusked nightmare, you will know that you are in the right place. Albeit at the wrong time. So farewell. Sure. To Earth's gift. Earth's gift. I forget where that's at. 
Silent Arbor. I can't picture this. I feel like I should picture this. You want the balloons too for the Lala ult? I'm sure that the mounts look so cool on some of the Lala fells versus some of the other ones. Kind of like the balloons. <laughs> I feel like having a smaller character. Well, doesn't the size of certain mounts or maybe all mounts change for the Lala fell? So maybe that's kind of less so. Your boyfriend has the eight person whale mount. It's almost 40 to $50. Dang, that's crazy. I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess if you like whales, then yes. Although I'm not big on it. You'd never. <laughs> I would try to resist. <laughs> but if there was a mount I really loved that much, I would probably save some money and honestly buy it. As crazy as it sounds. Oh, somebody already killed the hog. Who and how? Ah, jeez. Get out of here. You're about to join your friend, all right? Leave me alone. He only bought it because we used to run map runs a lot. That's fair. I guess having a mount that'll hold a lot of people is useful. So who took out the beast and do they have the Aether Sands? You're too late, adventurer. And not only for the entertainment, you will find no trace of the ore which but recently lay here. Nay, not so much as a speck. And who are you exactly? Hello? <clears throat> ah, no, you will never spy me from there. For the time being, at least, you will have to trust the evidence of your ears. Now, stop squinting at the foliage and listen. As I told you, the water-blessed mineral you hope to find is gone, taken by me. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory has made me magnanimous. However, accordingly, I have decided to share the location of an alternative source of aether sand with you. The wind touch variety, to be specific. I trust I have your attention. Good. A band of Ixel in the South Shroud keeps a quantity of the abrasive for a purpose of removing impurities from lesser crystals. Well, do you mean to dally here all day? Make haste, adventurer, before I snatch another prize from under your nose. This is to be a race. The Ixali logging grounds in the North Shroud shall be our destination. And that is where the real amusement will begin. May the best man win. Who is this? Show yourself. The question is, will he get there first? Ooh. Oh, this is Falgord Float. Yeah, this is where the Ixali crafting traders are. <clears throat> I spent a good amount of time here. You know what it was most useful? Was these Ixali um, tribe crafting quest levelers? For my culinarian because having to find all of the resources i need i mean i'm sure it's easier if you have access to the market board and can buy some of the resources for cheap but since i don't have access to that actually running around and collecting all of the items you need just to make one one piece of food and they all need different parts of food yeah, that was horrendous to try to level <clears throat> this feels like a trap <laughs> I don't like it. Get out of here, sucker. Blam. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, did he set us up on a trap? Bravo, that was quite a show adventure. Why, the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of Aether Sand slipped in my mind. Who are you? It feels very like Cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> a magical voice that I can't see that's just toying with me. <laughs> I appear to have forfeited our little race. Congratulations, the Wind Touch Abrasive is yours. 
How did he know it was there, and who is this man? And yet, having been treated to such a memorable performance, I cannot help feeling that the greater prize is mine. The ine this inequity <clears throat> must not stand. I insist that you accept a token of my appreciation. Payment for this entertainment will be waiting for you to the east, in a clearing within Proud Creek. Pray, retrieve the gift of the ear. It is crushed beneath the iron feet of the Dalahans. Ooh. Let's go. The Dalahans are cool. Those are those, the headless armor dudes. Oh, that's actually right here. Whoops. <laughs> I tried to fly without my mouth. <clears throat> I didn't realize I was so close to this place. My memory of, like, the area is so awful. Oh, there it is. Oh, he left us the water. I'm just going to get rid of these guys now. I'm not going to risk it. Dang, these guys are strong. Get wrecked. What? Noise. Not what you were expecting. I took the liberty of refining the ore from Earth's gift into Aether Sand. Do keep it safe, adventurer. Man, this guy's so helpful. Lest you accuse me of playing games, you should know that the thought of relinquishing my prize never once crossed my mind. Until I saw you in action. Such deeds must needs be rewarded. It is my vocation, you see, to record history as it is made by mortal men. And I prefer, I much prefer, to chronicle the accomplishments of the bold and the mighty. <laughs> Thus, it is my fervent wish that you continue your career with the same courage and zeal you have shown today. We shall meet again, adventurer, and so sooner than you may imagine. Who is this? I'm so confused. Who? Why? How? Those are the questions. Where are we going? Mordona. Ugh. <clears throat> Such a mysterious man. What is that? Isn't that... Isn't that Rathalos from Monster Hunter? Did they have a Monster Hunter crossover? <laughs> that was definitely a Monster Hunter monster. <laughs> what was that? I've certainly never seen that one. I Okay, I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? Oh, geez. Okay, so I can't fly over everything. Got it. All right, Rambros, I got the last two. What news of your mission? Are you any closer to acquiring the remaining abrasives? <laughs> any closer? Oh boy, I got them right here in your hand. You've brought both? I shall have Master Garlon begin work on the crystals immediately. Ooh, let's pick up the high elixir. And then we'll be holding five of those. There. That should do the trick. Oh. Interesting. They're like horns. Are we going to become unicorns? Excellent work! We now possess all four of the fangs required to pierce the crystal tower's defenses. My compliments, Master Garlon. No, oh, it was a trifling matter, I assure you. Sir here is the one you should be thanking. Anyway, by my reckoning, there is nothing stopping us from striding up to the Allegan's front door. Yeah, let's go. You can't go without us, Chief. Biggs and Wedge. There they are. About fitting they would show up about now. Biggs, Wedge, come to lend a hand, have you? Well, it's not every day you get a chance to study the wonders of the Allegan Empire, is it? Their technology makes Garlemons look ancient. 
I appreciate your enthusiasm, lads. I really do. But we're not here to take this knowledge for ourselves. Twice in the last decade, the promise of unimaginable power has been prompted men to meddle with technology they do not understand. And the realm has been dragged onto the very brink of oblivion on both occasions. We shall not be so irresponsible as to risk another. Wedge, you do recall our company's creed. Yes, Chief. It's um, freedom through technology. Exactly. Freedom. When you forsook our homeland, we swore that we would have no truck with machines that could be used to promote tranny. Tranny? Tyranny? <laughs> I for totally forgot the why. That has not changed. Should you feel tempted to break your oath, remember this. The wonders of the all-knowing Allegan Empire could not save their civilization and have damn near doomed ours twice. That is why we must explore the Crystal Tower and, if needs be, seal away its secrets. Ooh. <laughs> now they're excited. Let's go. A compelling viewpoint. It is unyielding wills such as yours that have defined the course of history. Who is that? An archer? So, you return at last. What, pray tell, has kept you so wholly preoccupied that you cannot spare a moment to inform me of your progress or preservation? <laughs> Why, the task you assigned to me, of course. Surely you've not forgotten about the Aether Sand. I tasked a passing adventurer with delivering it. A more capable courier, I could not imagine. Oh, it was this person. So it was a cat. I knew it. <laughs> How befitting. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. Did I not say we would meet again? I believe an introduction is in order. I'm Grahatia, one of the students of Baldesian. I look forward to joining you on your ground baking expedition. <clears throat> Graha has been assigned to the project as an observer. I hope you will forgive him his eccentricities, eccentricities, English, and welcome him one as your own. Sure. He was helpful. He was kind of curious. So then, our fellowship is complete, and all stand ready to step into the unknown. Three cheers for Noah. Noah? Who's Noah? Is that another god? Noah? This is the name I have chosen for our little collective. Given our deferring backgrounds, we cannot very well call ourselves the Sons of Saint Koinok, can we? And we must have a memorable appellation? English? If our venture is to leave its mark in the annals of history, I could claim that Noah stands for Nominated Observers of Artifacts Historical. And so it does, technically. But my true reason for choosing this name stems from the fact that it is shared by a vaunted elegant Archmages. Ooh. An Archmages? I like the sound of that. Me too. Very castery. <laughs> Very well. Now that the pressing matter of what to call ourselves has been settled, it is time we set forth to brave the outer defenses of the Crystal Tower. Is everyone ready to depart? Yeah, we are. Haha, <laughs> let's go! Ready! Sweet. So we gotta talk to Graha now? Labyrinth of the Ancients. Graha is eager to begin the expedition to the Crystal Tower, as are we. Gentlemen, the secret of ancient Alog Biefekin. I almost said B. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Adventurer, you and I will join the engineers at the Crystal Tower's main gateway, where we will endeavor to neutralize the structure's outer defenses. 
Rambrose, meanwhile, will remain here and oversee the operation. Given my knowledge of Allegan history, it seems logical that I should lead the expedition itself, though I admit the role does not exactly to fit my status as an observer. Still, we can but make use of the resources at hand, assuming all are in agreement. Let us proceed forthwith to the large, lopsided gate found to the southeast. Ooh, so we're finally heading in. <laughs> Dancing cat. I tried to fly. I keep trying to fly without my mount. I am a fool. We're going southeast. Yeah, towards the crystal tower, of course. Let's avoid the gigas. Oh, it's this. Got it. Don't mind the gig eye. Okay, fine. We'll fight you. They're defending the place. Quite horribly, I might add. But they try. We'll give them credit for trying. <laughs> Red Mage is so good. So flashy. Bring it. Well, I opened the way. Hope you guys enjoyed the walk in. <laughs> the crystal tower lies beyond this portal. Now comes the interesting part. Sid, you are the only one of our number who has ever crossed this threshold. I ask that you make that you take the lead for the present. Yeah. So does it just open? We just walked through. Was it an actual gate? Maybe just kind of got destroyed over time. Ooh, look at that. I like the crystal portal in the background. That's cool. I say, the energy radiating from these statues is palpable. <laughs> Lucky for us, that it is. One might otherwise stroll past them. Feast your eyes on the elemental defenses which prompted our lengthy preparations. These sentinels prevent would-be intruders for advan from advancing to within 20 yalms of the tower's inner inches. Reaches? English? <laughs> He's gonna shoot an arrow, and it's gonna get obliterated. Oh! <laughs> no matter how swift they may be. Happily, the crystal fangs we took such pains to craft should spare us the inconvenience of insatious annihilations. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Did you have to collect stuff to get into the crystal tower in Final Fantasy III? Going through this quest is like slowly bringing back vague memories of that game. But I played that so long ago that I can only barely remember it. Chief, it's too... <laughs> dangerous to allow anyone else to risk his life testing one? <laughs> Quite right. I made the damn things. It's my job to see that they work. <clears throat> oh, look at that. <laughs> he literally obliterated him. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that certainly reflected the energies back into the totems. <laughs> Success. I, for one, am convinced. Friends, ready your fangs. Oh, so we're all going to use a different fang? That's kind of cool. I like that. This is so epic. <laughs> this is why I love playing Black Page. Big flashy explosions of magic. <laughs> and this one's mine. 
Let's go. <laughs> the last one is yours, old friend. It seems only right. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. <clears throat> now the crystal tower is ours. Nah, <laughs> we did it. So much for the outer defenses. But what are on the inner defenses? That's the concern now. <laughs> Indeed. The entrance to the tower is near at hand. My blood fairly sings with anticipation. Speaking of blood, I have a proposal for the next stage of the expedition. I suggest we wait here a while, sir, and a hand-picked party of his adventuring companions enter the tower. What? Without us? I thought we came here to survey the entire structure. So this is where the dungeon unlocks, then. We did, and we will, but our investigations must proceed at a more measured pace. If the outside of the place is this well defended, can you imagine what awaits us on the inside? Only a true hero could reasonably hope to brave the hazards ahead and live to tell the tale. Sir here fits that description better than anyone I know. And it is not as if we shall be idle in his presence. Absence? My brain is like saying the opposite of things today, and I don't know why. <laughs> While Sir and his companions are risking life and limb to beat us a path to the tower, we can set about analyzing the rubble for evidence and how its technologies function. That's a fair point. Your knowledge of ancient lore will be invaluable in that endeavor, historian Grahatia. Ah, do you ever tire of being right, old man? He trusts it. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Sir, as it seems I won't be accompanying you, allow me to... Uh, 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 English. <laughs> I'm too excited. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> allow me to at least provide some instruction. The maze that surrounds the base of the tower is known as the Labyrinth of the Ancients. During this initial foray, I suggest you concentrate on ridding the place of hostile elements. When you are reasonably certain that the maze is secure, contact me via Link Shell and we shall join you post haste. No matter what Master Garlon says. Though we would prefer if in any relics you encounter remained intact, you have leave to do whatever is necessary to secure ingress into the upper levels of the tower. Fortune go with you, sir. Ooh, so this is where the dungeon begins, huh? How many crystal tower missions are there? Labyrinth of the Ancients now accessible. Duties for alliances. This duty is designed to be undertaken by an alliance. A squad of 24 adventurers formed of three full parties. This battle composition is reserved for large-scale duties only. So this will be our first alliance mission. While you are in an alliance, the clashless job icons and HP bars of alliance members will appear to the right of the party list. Okay, so I got those down here. By joining forces with other parties, you can achieve that which would otherwise be impossible. Cool. <clears throat> I, I know, I called it a dungeon, Gregorius, but it is a big raid. A big, big raid. I did the eight-man Moogle one yesterday, and I thought that was utter chaos, so I don't even know how I'm going to embrace this one. <laughs> Cavi's here to welcome us. Oh, she's even got the Moogle. Look at that. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm going in. <laughs> I want to go up here, actually. I want to look at this. So this is the entrance. I like that. It's very Final Fantasy three, you know, eight sided crystal. Wait, six sided crystal. I like it. It's so cool, isn't it? 
Oh, ha, ha, ha. What if I can fish here? It really is pretty, you're right. I like it. Wait, is that a dragon corpse up there? Oh no, that's one of the flying thing. Hey, right, that's that's that, that's one of the Garlean things. <clears throat> I'm too far away. Oh yeah, we should probably do our white mage with this. <laughs> the confetti. All right, so this. Oh, I see. There's a whole raid tab. So this is considered a raid. Labyrinth of the Ancients. With the help of Sid Non Garland, members of the expedition of the Crystal Tower, no, okay, so that's just saying everything we just did. Oh, so it is an old big dragon, okay. <clears throat> I have stream elements set up. I like how I got a stream elements notification in my YouTube chat. I didn't even know I still had stream elements active. <laughs> I haven't touched stream elements in forever. I'm going to have to look at that when I'm done. Stream today. <laughs> I'm assuming somebody just subscribed on YouTube. Interesting. The Labyrinth of the Ancients. But how did that send a stream elements notification about a subscription on YouTube when my streamer bot should be sending those out the same way? I don't understand. Tinkering distractions for another time. <clears throat> Labyrinth of the Ancients. We're going to go in as a white mage. Do I have all my spells active? Yes. I like how I was able to get a Flatus Solace, and I don't even have Lilies or that gauge yet. <laughs> okay, so it has to form a whole 24-man party. I feel like that's going to take forever. Dang. <laughs> Although, honestly, this could be a good time. How does it form these? Like, will this will this queue up in people's like daily duty roulettes and whatnot? Like, is there going to be a duty roulette? Because aren't these... Or do people have to specifically queue for some of the raids like that? Because I only got so many, but I'm sure there's more duty roulettes <clears throat> that people can do daily. Because if that's the case, then with the new DLC coming out, I'm sure a lot of people will be getting back on and playing and whatnot. So that might help me progress through some of these. I also play at weird times, I feel, too. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I gotta look at the times I play and how that compares to, to other people. How does it work if I queue up... Like, let's say I change the white mage and queue up as a healer. Can I change to... Is that pizza? <laughs> what the heck? Like, can I go level my blue mage while I wait for this to queue? Or will it send me in as a... Like, how does it work when you change your job after you queue up a duty? Will it send me in as that job, or... How does that work? Tanks and healers do get good Q pop, you're right. <clears throat> That's another benefit to me preferring to main as a support. <laughs> I can switch once I queue up. So like once I hit enter the dungeon, 
Will it swap me back to what I queued as? Or, I mean, I guess I could just swap back as soon as the thing pops up saying that the, that, that the duty's ready. No, you can't. Okay. It's just a good thing to learn the questions that I have regarding duties. <clears throat> yes, I can change to play Blue Mage while waiting. So, like, once I hit commence, is it going to send me in as whatever I... Or can I only hit commence by changing back to a healer that I queued up as? <clears throat> well, I, I get that once I queue as a... That's your job for the queue, yeah. You don't ever switch, so you're not positive? Okay. Whizbang says I can change now. I guess once it hits commence, I can go ahead and just change back at that point. So, it, like, my question really doesn't matter in the end. <clears throat> but since we're kind of leveling Blue Mage right now anyways, we can just side quest. You don't know if it'll switch me back or not? Curious. Maybe it won't let me hit commence until I change back. That's possible, too. I'm just questioning how, like, the game works now. <laughs> the, 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 like, tinkerings of the game itself. <clears throat> I don't even know the best way to level Blue Mage. Because I'm 36. Maybe true. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, if I was programming a game, it would make sense that once I queue up as a certain job, that I would have to change back that before I commence entering the dungeon. Normally, you would just stay White Mage. Me too. But given the weird queue times that I'm in at the moment and the fact that it's a 24 man, if it was a four man, like regular dungeon, I wouldn't even bother. Maybe even the eight man, because that queued pretty fast yesterday, honestly. Like the first time I queued up for that Moogle dungeon, the eight man, it immediately sent me in. And then the second time I queued before I got off stream. Actually, as soon as I got off stream yesterday, it immediately queued that Moogle mission. Because <laughs> I had queued it up waiting. And then I got the white mage staff, the Moogle white mage staff at the end of it, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> it says the average wait time is five minutes. So we got a tank, a healer, and three DPS. I like how it updates and lets you know how many people have queued up so you know how close it is to, to going off. <clears throat> yeah, Wizbang. I kind of understand that once it says party ready, I can swap back and then hit commence. I'm just wondering how it works as far as like, are you locked into that role and I can't hit commence until I change back? That's kind of like the side of things that I was curious on how the game works on. Alliance Raid at Oceana Data Center is like doing the impossible. Oof. <laughs> Poor Gregorius. <clears throat> Man, I'm like so... I'm so curious how this is going to go. Because like the eight man that I did was just a giant like boss battle, basically. It was just an arena battle. So going from that straight to a 24 man, I don't even know how this is even going to go. Is this going to be a big arena battle like the like like the Moogle one was or is this going to be or the alliance raids like full on dungeon crawls? Ugh. <clears throat> Oh, I should probably put my potions on my hotbar just in case. You never know. <laughs> oh, these are actually two different elixirs. Right. Because my other one was... Um, let's actually get rid of this the last thing I want to be clicking in a dungeon. <laughs> Just accidentally queue up the G-Pose in the middle of it. <clears throat> Keep wondering, not going to spoil anything for me. Fair. 
I have so many questions, most of which I don't want answers to. Yet at the same time, I crave the information. <laughs> All right, level 36. Um, while we're waiting, well, what are the level of people right here in Mordona? I might not have to travel anywhere. <clears throat> I can't fly in here. You could queue up with, it might go faster. You're doing Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth of the Ancients, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like it's also just a weird time to be queuing too. Because, like, where I'm at, it's, like, 5 a.m. So, like, <laughs> everybody in my immediate area is, like, not even awake. So, like, how does that... How did the time... How do the time zones work after that? I don't remember. <clears throat> it's 4.53 for you, too. <laughs> yeah... Gotta love that Eastern time zone. So if we're just talking strictly like US type stuff, that's what, a couple hour difference? It's just a horrible time zone. <laughs> I just play at weird times. <clears throat> I'm sure if I played on, I guess I could have played on different data centers, maybe, but yeah. You got in? Nice. I like how it updated the wait time and it's now eight minutes. Aether is normally pretty busy for raiding. Okay. I guess these things would have been useful to know going into, like, actually thinking about what server I'd want to be on. <clears throat> so the queues are server-specific, right? So, like, if I were to travel to some other data center or something with how that works, would that give me different queue times? Or does it not work like that? I don't know how all the travel to different things works and everything. Although this is good learning experience, though, to learn about all the different stuff in the game and how it all works. I think these guys out here were like 50-something, though. 40. <clears throat> that is a question for your boyfriend. <laughs> Leave that up to his brain to figure out. That's fair. <laughs> I don't blame you. <clears throat> These are the random questions that my brain strives to have answers to. <laughs> it keeps my brain active. Even if they're like, the answers to these questions aren't that useful. My brain's like, ah, you want the answers anyways. I know you do. Take this. It missed. That doesn't bode well. They're gonna like two shot me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't fight level 49 people as a 36 blue mage. It's a horrible idea. <laughs> On the bright side, I got Ram's voice now, so I can just freeze people and run away. <laughs> we could all thank Phantom for that for helping me kill the open-world Chimera off-stream yesterday. <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> when you guys normally queue, he's queuing it up and you're the support. Fair. 
Your social anxiety and introverts kicking in. Yeah, I have those struggles too. Like getting myself to leave the house and go shopping even for food is like, it's a full on task I have to convince myself to do. <clears throat> Anything social, I'm just like, uh, but then when I'm, what, like then once I'm used to going to a certain place and it just becomes normal, like, one, like once I'm used to the environment, I feel a lot better and I'm more comfortable going places. But if I don't go there very often, or especially if it's somewhere new, I just kind of like freeze up mentally and I like, it's not that I'm like convincing myself not to do it, but I have to convince myself to do it because I kind of just freeze up. It kind of sucks, but it's what I live with. You need them to come with you or you won't do it. Yeah, right? Like you have to have somebody that's like, it helps comfort the idea of like going there, knowing somebody. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Aether's a big server. Okay, your course. Ow. Quit shooting me! <laughs> oh, I don't have my I don't have my mighty guard up. I was like, why am I taking so much damage? Jeez. I might have my mighty guarded. That's Ram's voice. Let's freeze this fool. Yes, Aether is a big server. Really recommend for the raid. Okay. Is that something I can just travel to? We've got seven people queued up. That's almost a full party. <laughs> One of the three. <clears throat> You have immediate anxiety, but you have to like almost hold your breath. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And once it's all over, you feel all the energy leave your body and you're like, I'm so tired, right? I go outside, like I spend so much time inside and everything. I go outside in the sun and I get a headache. That's probably not good. Like anytime I go outside on a sunny day and I don't know, go do anything. Oh, that queued fast. You changed your class, duty cannot be commenced. Oh, I see. So it wants me to change to my previous in order to commence. That's good to know. I guess that answered my question on what happens. Have you tried frontline yet? What is frontline? That's PVP. <clears throat> oh. I, I can't do PvP. PV Freeze locked the free trial players. Labyrinth of the Ancients. Oh. Being a raid, I figured this would be awesome. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> Look at all these people. That's so cool. All right, so I can see my party on the right. And I see the alliance at the bottom. So everybody not in my party is currently green? Question mark. So one tank, two healers, and five DPS per group. And there's two people at the beginning. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody said thank you for the first time bonuses. What does that mean? Do people get bonuses for the first time doing stuff? Uh. Oh dang, that person almost died. Let's heal them up real quick. <laughs> How did that person almost die? What happened? What did they get hit by? The other healer in the group just almost like got wrecked. 
Hey, why is that person named Veil for? They look gross. This other healer's taking a ton of damage. Where are they at? <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to try to keep my regen active on everybody, as well as my damage over time. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And he's dead. Alright, I don't know where that person's at, but they're taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Poor healer. <clears throat> Oops, let's get regen on tank. Oops, let's get out of that. Oh, jeez. Don't worry, tank, I got you. Why is this healer taking so much damage? Where are they at? Oh, I see him. Apollo Bear. Allegan Teleporter? Oh, look at this man. Dragon. Bone dragon. Ooh, why is it red? Uh, let's get regen on tank, question mark. <clears throat> Ouch. <laughs> the pain, it hurts. Ah, uh, the damage. So nope. I'm gonna die. I did. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I think I walked in the pool. I don't know. I'm gonna stand back over here. <laughs> Maybe it's because I went up to the boss. Maybe that was my downfall. Let's regen the tank. <clears throat> I feel like that was just down to bad positioning. Treasure coffers? <clears throat> Crimson hat. Pass. Royal crown. Ooh. Nice. So how did that all work? Oh, geez. Everybody's on the run. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> I got distracted by the loot. I should have looted while I was running. I made horrible decisions. <laughs> yeah, right, Wizbang. Go, go, go. <laughs> so I can see on my map where the blue is my party and green is alliances. Let me go ahead and target the tank. No, I can't yet. <clears throat> um, they're splitting up. So each alliance fights a different one. <clears throat> is that how we're splitting up by, by alliance groups? Am I in the wrong one? Whoops. Does it matter who's in what? I'm here now. <laughs> I 
Uh, I hit yes teleport, and now I'm stuck here. I feel like I'm in the wrong one. <laughs> uh, Because I can't heal these other guys, right? Well, I'm here with two DPS. Uh, good luck, other party? Question mark. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have said yes to that teleport. I don't know what's happening. Back on the pad. Four on plate. Yeah, the tank says there's three members of his alliance lost on the other one. So don't accept the teleport. Run to your proper pad and split up by alliance is what I just learned from that. <laughs> I was so confused. I was just standing there. I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't heal the other alliance, I don't think. <clears throat> oh, there's my tank. Give my tank a regen. We're learning every day in this game. Definitely. Definitely. <clears throat> Try tagging along people from your alliance when you're doing it for the first time. That's a fair point. If I just focus on people from my alliance, then I can't get too distracted and whatnot. What are these? Oh, there's magic pots and teleporters? Question mark. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> what is happening? There's explosions, and there's people running around. <laughs> and there's some kind of links to magic pots. The confusion is real. I'm just going to focus on healing. I feel like that's always a good thing. <laughs> as long as I look at my party list and they're all alive, all is going well, right? I feel like that's a good way to put it. I am linked to whatever this pot is. What does that mean? Who knows? Alright, let's go ahead and teleport first. And then we'll take a look at the loot. We learned this last time. Because there's a lot of running. <clears throat> And then while we're running, we'll see what this is. Ooh. I'll greet on that. That looks cool. I'll pass on that. Don't need that taking up space in my inventory. All right. So always follow the people that aren't green. Got it. I, I'm sure I can change the color because I was messing with my colors on other stuff. I wonder if I can change the alliance color to be something less vibrant. That way, it's not as bright, and it's more easier to see the names of my people running around. I kind of feel like I want to do that. Because I know my party is kind of like similar colors. But then isn't my other healer also going to show up in green? So I feel like I should change his color and kind of like desaturate it a bit. A little less vibrant. And then I see on my map where my party members are. Let's throw a regen on the tank. <clears throat> Oh, I see. Each of the alliances seem to be separating out the three bosses we're fighting now. That makes sense. 
Oh, Tank needs a heal. I got you, Tank. Don't worry. I need to get my keybind set up to display the target of my target. I feel like that would end up being a lot better. We need the heals. Let's go. Don't worry, Tank. I got you. <laughs> nice. Oh, jeez. It's an elegant bomb. Now we're all fighting the same person. I feel like that was a DPS check. <laughs> if there ever was to be one, that was it. People are saying there's a lot of new people in this mission. It's talking about something to do with markers. <clears throat> King Behemoth? Dang, look at that man. Why is the ground electrified? I don't like it. And there's bombs and there's iron giants. Chaos. <laughs> And there's a comet that people are standing behind. Follow the people. Whoa! <laughs> I did not see that. I feel like I should not be standing where I'm standing. Whoops. What did I get hit by? <clears throat> Healer, raise me. Cool. <laughs> I'm having trouble focusing on what I need to focus on this first time. There's just so much going on. This is really where I need to get my hotkeys set up so I can actually just press keys instead of clicking on everything. Because I feel like trying to learn everything and look at everything while also manually clicking on all my spells is a horrible idea. <clears throat> oh, who is that? Look at that man. I feel like he should be iconic. That I don't recognize. Yeah, you guys started it while I was watching a cutscene. That is not my fault. You died on your own free will. <laughs> Where's my party? Um, help? I need to stand close to my party so I can heal them. <clears throat> Jeez, they've almost killed him, but I just got here. <laughs> uh, follow the people? Barely got out of that. Where's this person at? Can I res them? Nope, they're out of range of res. Full heal. Oh, -ha, I remembered I had benediction. Look at that.
Don't worry, guys. I got the heals. Let's go. I keep finding myself wanting to look at everything. Everything but what I really should be looking at. <laughs> Everybody's running back. Oh, I see it's glowing. Follow them. Got it. And they died on the inside. Poor tank. I got you, Tink. <clears throat> oh, I could have rezzed you. Where'd he go? Maybe somebody else rezzed him. No, you need heals. Oh, somebody else got him. Cool. Maybe a benediction, probably. You call that a labyrinth? Ha 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 ha. That was cool. <clears throat> I feel like I did bad as a healer. <laughs> but we're learning. We're learning. Nice. Labyrinth of the Ancients complete. Let's go. Ah, there's so many loot going down. <laughs> um, uh, that's usable for samurai, so let's greed that. We can throw that on our samurai. Royal shoes? What does that look like? No, I don't need those. Pass on that. Hold on, Cabby. Hold on. Uh, royal breaches. I need those. Uh, pass on that. Uh, pass on that. <laughs> pass on that. What is this? A catalyst? I don't have the inventory space. Faded hubris. Uh, need? Uh, tumbling down. Need? Uh, player accommodation. Uh, the, 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 the red mage. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Woo. Whoops. I didn't mean to cheer them on. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Can I leave or do I got to wait for this stuff to go through? Somebody do something with these pants. Cause I, does this stuff hold or do I have to wait? I'm gonna wait cause I don't know. Cause like if I've already selected everything and then I leave, does it cancel out as if I hit pass on everything? Cause I kind of want these pants. <laughs> Look at these pants. If you leave, it'll pass it. I'm not passing up these pants. They can't need these pants. These pants are mine. <laughs> I'm waiting on those pants. All right, cool. You guys can have the rest. Bye. <laughs> the rest is yours. I'm out of here. <laughs> they were DPS. They couldn't get the pants. They were guaranteed to be mine. I'm a glam king, all right? <laughs> they are good pants. Ho oh, there, sir. Yeah, we made it. Very impressive, I must say. Your name shall be writ large in the volumes that are sure to be penned on this historic expedition. <clears throat> I definitely want to take the color of the text on the Alliance names and see if I can't decrease the brightness or saturation on it. Because I feel like I could understand where everybody in my party's at if I make it either some obscure color or honestly, any color is going to distract me. I need to like lower the saturation or transparent or increase the transparency or something. You know what I mean? I'll have to see if I can do that for the Alliance people. That way I can better understand where to position myself as a healer, because especially with my AOEs or making sure I'm not out of range of somebody that's just kind of like a walling off to the corner, you know, and not staying with the group. I can try to position myself a bit better. <clears throat> but like with all of the green names of all the alliance names running around I'm just like where is anybody <laughs> the scale of this structure defies comprehension someone plainly thought bigger was better 
According to the findings of my Baldesian colleagues, the Crystal Tower was constructed to collect and store the endless energies of the sun, a characteristically ambitious undertaking. Now, what of the tower's inner defenses? Judging by your haggard expression, clearly out the labyrinth was no small feat. No, it wasn't. A giant of a man wielding a shimmering scimitar, you say? Yes, that will have been Phlegathon. No, Archeron? Phlegathon. No, he was a hero of the Allegan Revolution. Ooh. And you gleaned that from what exactly? His choice of weapon? Yeah, how'd you know? You've been here before. <laughs> well, I am a historian, and I have a certain, shall we say, affinity for the lore of the Allegan Empire. Fair. It is, of course, all knowledge gleaned from musty scrolls and tomes. The ancient texts claim that the Crystal Tower is defended by the champions of Eld, resurrected and augmented through the Allegan's extraordinary technology. Chief, you need to see this! <clears throat> what is it, Wedge? What do you guys find? A crystal? A teleporter? Are we gonna climb the tower? We're climbing the tower. <laughs> well, well, there it is. The foot of the tower. What surprises do you have in store for us, I wonder? We're not even at the foot of the tower yet? <laughs> That was just getting to the tower? Aw, oh, jeez. I can't tell you how glad I am to have you with us on this little jaunt, good friend. <clears throat> Had you not beaten a path through that maze, I very much doubt we'd be standing here now. <laughs> well, we have much to discuss and digest. Let us retire to St. Coinox. Find for the present and there plan our next step. Lest there be any doubt, our expedition has some way to go yet. Yeah, right? Especially if we're only at the foot of the tower. Jeez. Who would have guessed? Woo, let's go! I don't think I got anything that was decent out of that. <laughs> I mean, we got these faded scrolls, which is kind of nice. Oh, I got both scrolls. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, I don't know what these other dyes look like. Do I need this fish? Let's get rid of this fish. And you'll put that there. I got three copies of Dark Bow. That's probably not necessary. Um, what else don't I need? Uh, lime green dye. I'm probably never going to use that. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> You're going to lurk ease now into your bed with your cat? Nice. <laughs> got to work at 3.30? Oof. I got to work at 8 p.m. tomorrow, so I got a good ways to go. I'll probably go for another couple hours. <clears throat> Thanks for the help. Have a nice day, cabbie. I will be attempting my life. <laughs> Ha ha! <laughs> I need to learn other emotes. Where am I going? Uh, I like that one. That one was good. <laughs> I need to get all the emotes as part of my glam. I started buying some of the gold saucer ones. Um, But that was before I found out about the next event. I haven't gotten the sheath one yet, but I got the draw one. Which is kind of cool. I can do that now. <laughs> I don't have very many cool emotes. I need to, like, collect those. <laughs> I don't think I have the sheath one yet. My emote list is, like, part of my glams now. But I don't think I got very many, like, special ones. Water float. Ooh, I need to try that one. I think these are all mostly basic ones. I don't think I've really collected any cool emotes, other than the draw weapon one. <clears throat> oh, that's right, we gotta go finish 
such things. Let's check out this. What do we got in here? <laughs> I like those emotes. Those are cute. So we got the royal crown, which actually isn't useful. Isn't this the same crown that's part of my white mage attire? We'll hold on to it just in case. I greeted, or I, I needed on it because I wasn't sure. And actually, my samurai should be able to... No, that's actually not better for my samurai. Kind of surprised. <clears throat> I figured that would be... So my starting gear for my samurai is already better than the stuff in that mission. I guess this is a Realm Reborn mission versus samurai coming out in storm blood so i guess that makes sense you gotta go all right have a nice day gregorius thanks for tuning in have a nice one whoops prep for easter Ooh. oh that's right easter is this weekend isn't it <laughs> when is easter is that today What is today? Oh, today's Saturday. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what today is. I'll certainly have fun, Gregorius. I can guarantee that. Whether I stay on track or not, that's up for debate. Crimson Celestial Gloves. I think I already got the higher level gloves. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already got the 170 gloves. Although, these look kind of cool. Look at that. Will I use them? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm to our glamour dresser, though. Oh, but these. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> I need those. Are those better? Nope. They're going to be better glammed. I mean, actually, to be fair, I'm probably not going to see my pants very often, given that I'm kind of... <laughs> given that I'm going to wear mo robes most of the time. Oh, but look at the look, look at the leg parts of it. Oh, that's so good. I like that. The gold accents at the bottom of the legs. That's nice. All right, that looks like everything we got out of that. Cool. We got some things to add to our glamour chest now. We'll pop that in next time we're actually at a place that has an inn. Because I don't think... I don't think Revenant's Toll has an end. I think it's just the main cities, yeah? Away! That was good, though. I want to do that again now that I kind of understand what's going on and I can actually stay with part of the group. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably... It's probably in character configuration. Nameplate displays. Others, Alliance members. <clears throat> what color should I make Alliance members? I feel like it needs to be something different than one of the primary colors. Because if I have it set up so DPS is red, healers are green, tank is blue, then I want it to be a color that's not that. I could just make them white. Make them more of a gray, kind of like a middle ground. And completely desaturate the color. I can always increase it from there. Let's go all the way down with Alliance members. And I feel like that would distract me less, making it a neutral color. That way I can focus on where my party members are at based on the colors of their role, which would help me better. Because like, let's say my healer is kind of AWOLing off on the corner then I don't have to worry as much, but if, like, the DPS is over there and they die, I want to make sure they're within range of heals because the healer should be able to heal himself. The woes of a... of a support. <laughs> <clears throat> and, of course, we can adapt that as time goes on and I better understand how the missions work and how the different ones happen. I just definitely felt like that green was way too distracting 
and losing track of like where I needed to be and where my team actually was. So I definitely need maybe more of a desaturated white who will definitely help me more. <clears throat> so good of you to join us, sir. Our meeting would be dull indeed without a full account of your experiences in the labyrinth. Take a moment to collect yourself, and when you're ready, we shall debate how best to proceed. Oh, I'm ready, all right. Let's go. For prosperity. Tenacity, skill speed, spell speed. Can't go wrong with spell speed. <clears throat> the fellowship of Noah being accounted for, it is time this assembly was called for order. Rambros will be presiding over the meeting, if you would be so kind as to inform him of your readiness to proceed. Rambos, let's go. Welcome back, sir. I have just been reading about your encounter in the Labyrinth of the Ancients. It pleases me greatly to note that you seem none the worse for your experience. Of course not, I'm a healer. I'll be fine. Now it's everybody else that's a concern. <laughs> for your experience, I have added my notes to Graha's preliminary expedition report and begun compiling Crystal Tower survey log. The information contained therein will be available to you at all times. Should you have any questions, you need only ask. Now, if there are no objections, I shall begin with a summary of the expedition's key accomplishments. I don't even know what happened. That's spell speed, right? Yeah, let's grab that one. Cool. Cutscene! Look at us. We look so cool. <laughs> In the course of this, our first foray into the grounds of the Crystal Tower, we succeeded in neutralizing the structure's outer defenses, before proceeding to secure the maze surrounding the base of the spire. According to Sir's account, the labyrinth's defenses were most emph emphatically English active. Emphatically, got it. Disturbingly, his report also mentions a violent encounter with a sentry heavily augmented by elegant technology. I don't remember that fight very much if he was from the original Crystal Tower in 3. Vaguely familiar, maybe? I'll have to look it up once I get through the tower so I don't spoil anything on how they compare to any, like, original characters. <clears throat> In short, our misgivings will be found, were well-founded. The Crystal Tower was not simply thrust above ground by the chaotic shifting of Earth. It was somehow been reawoken. If, as, as seems increasingly likely, the tower's secrets should prove too dangerous to share with the world, we will have no choice but to contain them. Short of leveling the place, this will almost certainly involve returning its mechanisms to a state of dormancy. To do that, however, we will first need to address the question of how they work. The answer to which must surely be waiting for us inside the tower itself. In conclusion, that is where we must go. Yeah, deeper into the tower, let's do it. A task easier said than done. If the perils of the labyrinth are any indication, and they're only bound to get worse from here, I bet. Then I move that all further exploration of the tower be delayed until such time as an exhaustive analysis and structure's defenses have been completed. Master Garlon, may I entrust this task to you? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Don't forget about us. Yeah, get them all involved. It's like you said, Chief. We founded the Iron Works to make sure that technology was used for the right reasons. And that means making sure it's not used for the wrong ones. We wouldn't be doing our jobs if we didn't see this through to the end. <laughs> Lads, well, I hope you're ready for some back-breaking chores. Of course they are. First said anything. <laughs> well, everything seems to be in hand here, so I shall take my leave of you for the present. If I am to witness this valiant tale unfold with my own eyes... I must needs hone my martial skills ere we ascend the spire. Yeah. You'll be doing nothing of the sort, Graha. Your knowledge may prove useful to Master Garlon's investigation. Ah, he doesn't like that very much. <laughs> As an observer, I am not, strictly speaking, subject to your authority. Pray, do take me, 
Do, uh, English. <laughs> Pray, do not mistake my intent, sir. I am well aware that I shall never be a match for one with your innate talents, however hard I train. But that as it may, pray do not allow your skills to rust from disuse during the coming pause. Nope, of course not. I'm going to do that mission again. <laughs> we will need your fighting fit if our subsequent forays are to prove as productive as this one. Mark me. We have not yet caught more than the briefest glimpse of that which time has obscured. Soon, however, we shall cast off the veil and gaze upon the glory of the Galligan Empire. Yeah. And with that encouraging thought in mind, it is time to bring this assembly to a close. Let us all focus on the task at hand, and our next expedition may begin all the sooner. Meeting adjourned. Cool. So can I immediately go into the next one, or is there actually going to be a pause? Oh, look at the tower at night. That's even better. Is that the guy? Is he evil? We just let him into the tower, didn't we? Such a terrible mess. Yet it does leave the door wide open, so to speak. Oh, no. He's evil, isn't he? One cannot help but be impressed. I'm beginning to understand the reliance you place on adventurers, old friend. So, this is the legacy of the Allegan Empire left behind. If my readings are correct, the energy source waiting atop the tower is a match for even the Ultima weapon. Nigh, more than a match. <laughs> a new toy for me to play with. Huh, he's taking his mask off. Uh-oh. I believed. Wait, Nara Tolskeva. Nero. Who's Nero? He's definitely one of the Garleans. <clears throat> I believe the fates had conspired to deny me my just rewards once again. But it would seem they had a greater destiny in mind for me. Was he the red one? And so long as my ambition burns, I shall strive to seize it. The dream lives on, Sid. Do not disappoint me. I feel like I've seen this guy before. My memory does not serve to remind me, though. <laughs> Lurking. <laughs> now you get to watch me freak out about everything and not actually. <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoy as you get ready for bed. All right. I think we just continue. Sicrus Tower. Circus. Circus Tower. Look at these people. What is that? <laughs> I'm hearing stuff in the background. Rambrose is frustrated over Noah's lack of progress on the Crystal Tower. Ooh. Leo's already sleeping on you? Nice. I got two cats of my own. I got one that has like the white paws. And I've had her for a couple years. And then I recently got a kitten. He's a black one. But if you look at him in the sunlight, he has like stripes on him. But he almost looks black in the shadows. So it's pretty cool. I named him Spook because when I first got him, he would always run behind my older cat and then like jump and startle her. And he was always playing around like that. And I'm like, you know what? His name going forward is now Spook. <laughs> Leo has white mittens too. Nice. I named my one with the white mittens Bones. Because whenever she lays on her back, she has like the white marking going down all of her like appendages. And it kind of looks like a skeleton. So I named her Bones. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, tis you, my friend. You are doubtless eager to hear of our progress on the Crystal Tower. Yeah, I know it's only been like a few seconds, but what has happened? <laughs> Excellent. I'd be disappointed to hear otherwise. Of course, disappointed is the word of the day, I fear. Ugh. I'm ashamed to say that there is nothing worthwhile to report. The suns continue to probe the labyrinth of the ancients, and every day brings new discoveries. 
Alas, the same cannot be said of the Crystal Tower. We've not been able to set so much as a single foot inside. You will recall how the eight sentinels stood between us and the labyrinth initially. In like manner, the entryway into the principal spire, Circus Tower, the Allegans called it, is also protected by technology far more advanced than our own. Sid and I have tried every trick we know, but without success. Frankly speaking, we're at a loss. It is discouraging. But we cannot give up. There must be a way in. And so the situation stands, my friend. Until we gain entry into the tower, I fear your talents shan't avail us. It will continue... It, English. It will require time that I am loath to waste. But I have a mind to set my people to scouring such ancient texts as we have on hand. Oh, you got six kittens? Dang. Your cats are gray mostly in their Maine Coon tabby mix. Besides Nemu, white and black, Mukau and Navi and Sakalico. Nice. <clears throat> when I first got Bones, she was from, uh, there was, there was two kittens left. One that she was keeping and one that I got off of her. I think, I think the one that she was always growing up playing with was a Maine Coon. Cause she always had the big fluffy. <laughs> Perhaps we can be of assistance. We who? Who are you? Where are you? Ooh, look at these people. Can't you buy that gear on the mar on the online store? It kind of resembles it. <clears throat> There's a green one that that was like recommended because a lot of people are buying it. I guess your cat Blair is considered as a spiral tabby. She's beautiful but very shy. I'll have to look that up. I don't think I've seen a spiral tabby. Or maybe I have and just didn't know it was known as that. Be at ease, friends, for we share the self-same goal. I am... Uni? Une? We'll say Uni. <laughs> and my companion here is Doga. We are scholars of the Allegan civilization, sent by the students of Old Desian to assist in your endeavor. Uni and Doga... Rather unusual names for this day and age. If I might be forgiven by a preserving, uh, but I digress. <clears throat> Tabbies have many coat types. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Too many. <laughs> you claim to be here at the student's behest, but we have received nary a word of your coming. I'm sure you'll not take it amiss if we seem somewhat doubtful. We can only assume that the message failed to reach you due to some mishap. I assure you that we are here to help. I mean, they look cool. Let's let them help. <gasps> what is this guy? Does he have special powers too? Is it his red eye? What is it, Graha? Ugh, tis nothing. There was uh, a pain, but it has subsided. Uh-oh, they seem to know what's going on. You see how they looked at each other? Mm. And they got red eyes, just like he has the one red eye. So I wonder if that has something to do with it. I wonder. Well, well, this is rather unexpected. Your right eye is the same color as ours. They didn't say color, but you know what I mean. The same? You you have the elegant eye as well? What is the elegant eye? The sanguine hue is said to be a trait unique of the elegans. Yet I inherited it from my father as he did from us. Only one child in a single generation is born with the eye. All my life I have sought to learn the truth of its manifestation. And there is aught you know. I implore you to tell me. So are these Alligans then? My deepest apologies. But we have no answers for you. Only one thing is certain. Those who possess the trait are bound by fate to a log. These guys are cool. Nice. They look cool. <laughs> Whether I'll continue to think so is uh, up for debate. <laughs> oh, you have red and green eyes in your Viera? Nice. As your eye has placed you upon the path you walk, so too have we come here to fulfill our destiny. Absurd though it may sound, it is the truth. I'll trust them. 
It seems to me you have not to lose by accepting their aid. What do you say? Yeah, do it. Do it. If that's your wish, then so be it. I mean, we're going to be the ones that are going to have to deal with them if they end up being evil. So, like, you know what? Might as well. <laughs> Yet yeah, know that I still mean to verify your stories with the students of Beldesi and when I'm able. I trust there will be no objections. Surely not. Very well. As of this moment, I named Uni and Doga advisory members of Noah. Without further ado, let us have them examine the circus tower entrance. I promise you'll not have cause to regret your decision. And what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Those usually don't turn out too well, do they? <laughs> Sir, I should be much obliged if you were to accompany our new friends to the tower. Biggs and Wedge are presently surveying the eight sentinels. The two of them can show you the way. Upon arrival, pray report to Master Garland. He will brief you on the situation. Sure. I shall join you, sir. With Uni and Doga's knowledge, along with your uncanny knack for setting events in motion, I am hopeful that we will finally see progress. Yeah, let's go. Where are we going? This way, to the tower. I kind of wish I could zoom out further. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? Whoops. <laughs> I like how I jumped myself out of the mount. Oh, that's right. I can't fly here anyways. Oh, well. We'll just run. I guess it would be dangerous to fly next to the tower, given how many shields there are running around. <clears throat> well, if it isn't Sir, eager to enter Sergus Tower and kill everything in sight, no doubt. Sort of. Or heal people while they do it. <laughs> as I'm sure you've already heard, though, the place is locked up tight as a clam. New friends from the students, you say? Hmm, excellent. It's been slow going, or rather, no going, for the chief. He'll appreciate the help. If you'll just follow me, I'll take you to him. Please do. Oh. My keyboard's dying. Hold on, I gotta plug it in. I should just set this up as like a wired keyboard at this point. Has this side not been charging at all either? Oof. The keyboard's like dead. Ah, some old faces to lift the spirits, and a couple of new ones besides. <clears throat> yeah, they look cool. Look at them. Allow me to introduce Uni and Doga. They are scholars of ancient Alag, sent here by our friends Baldesian to aid in the investigation. Or so they claim. I mean, they look trustworthy enough. We understand you're having trouble circumventing the tower's defenses. It is our hope that we can be of some small assistance. If your attire is all to go by, your assistance should prove invaluable indeed. Why does he recognize it as some kind of old attire of the Alog? To begin with, let me tell you where we stand. Beyond rises Circus Tower the principal spire of the structure collectively known as Crystal Tower. The only way to get inside is through the proverbial front door, the imposing gate you see here. The problem is we can't get it open. It's sealed by some mechanisms whose workings are an utter mystery to us. I'm assuming they're either going to be able to read this or they're going to have some kind of magical power which is going to open. <laughs> Having had no success via more orthodox means, I went at it with everything from a pickaxe to a Magitek cannon. Nothing so much as put a scratch on it. 
I mean, look at it. Of course it's not gonna put a scratch on it. It's like imbued itself with energy. I mean, come on now, Sid. You should know better. <laughs> For a blessing, the gate doesn't try to reduce us to ashes like the eight sentinels. But that doesn't make it any less effective as a security measure. It's fiendishly frustrating in its simplicity. Fair. The only clue we have is the elaborate device carved upon it. A man and a woman, respectant. Elegant royalty, by my judgment. So only they can open the door? I don't know, they might be able to open it. <laughs> Precisely who these individuals were, we cannot say. Nor do we know whether the device actually serves a purpose. Like as not, it is purely decorative. Or is it? What are they thinking? Go open the door. Just, just walk up and open it. <laughs> I mean, look at the carvings. It makes sense. Whether they know this or not is what I'm considering. Contemplating? Contemplating. That's a better word. If you're thinking to force it, save your strength. It's no use. Just ask the calluses on my hands. But you're not an elegant male and female person. That's what's carved on the door. They could open it. Trust. Oh, look at that smirk. She knows something she's not telling us. Rest assured, we did not mean to waste our strength. Indeed. We should... Why should we exert ourselves when the gate will open of its own accord? Of course it will. Oh, they got magic hands. Who are these people? Are they Allegan royalty? Is that what we just learned from this? Curious. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so cool inside. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I, I don't think any of us expected that to happen. I did. You guys got to catch up. I mean, come on now. It was obvious. <laughs> These cool looking people came out of nowhere who happened to resemble the markings on the door. I mean, you got to keep up. Seven hells, what is this? What did you do? What, what are you? Royalty? A figment of my imagination? Piercing the heavens and gathering the light, a symbol of mankind's glory and might. Who is this? It's virtue guarded by gates impregnable, only to those of royal blood answerable. Exactly as passed down through legend, I am delighted to see. <gasps> it's this guy. It's Nero. He has a marking on his head just like Sid does. Which means he's a Garlean, right? Beg pardon for interrupting your bewilderment. I couldn't help but notice the remarkable playthings you have acquired. They're not playthings. Nero? You're still alive? Is he one of the armored guys? I feel like he is. My memory is not serving me today, and it's awful. <laughs> Garland, Garland. If I didn't know any better, I would say you weren't happy to see me. Ah, but I jest. In light of our recent meetings, you have every right to be wary. But rest assured, I am no longer a threat to you. My legion is for all intents and purposes defunct. And my association with it means a tight noose awaits me back in Garlemald. And so I've been roaming this land Eorzea, a regular iterant. In the course of my wanderings, I chanced to catch wind of your latest venture. It sounded positively fascinating, and I decided to come here and join you. After the wrongs you've committed, you think us that gullible. Right? That's what I'm saying. If you are suspicious of my intent, tis only my just deserts. But I am determined to make amends. As a gesture of goodwill, I will share with you what I know, starting with these two odd characters. 
As you are doubtless already aware, the Crystal Tower was a symbol of ancient Alag's might and prosperity. Entry was permitted only to royalty and a select few individuals. According to the records I have unearthed, only royal blood can open the gate. In other words, the Emperor and his progeny were living keys. Ooh. You mean to say that these two are descended from Alligan royalty? I mean, that would make sense why they have two red eyes versus his one. Oh, I suggest nothing so glamorous. To put it plain, they are imitations of royalty. Living keys born of Alligan ingenuity. What? Living keys? Clones, I believe, is the name your creators gave your kind. Is that not so? That's why they seem suspicious. So they're... To what seem that the time for concealment is past. Yeah, tell me your secrets. Pray accept our apologies. T'was not our intent to deceive. We simply wish to avoid causing undue alarm by prematurely making what many would consider deranged claims. I guess that's a fair point. I hadn't considered that. If it please you, let us return to the Eight Sentinels. There is much and more to tell you. Sure. Let's do it. Oh, very well. After you, Nero. <laughs> I'm not leaving you behind here. Seven Hells, do you seriously mean to follow us around? I don't think we can really say no, can we? <laughs> Come, Garland. You know me better than I, than to think that I spoke in jest. What more will it take for us to be reconciled? A gift, perhaps? A gift? A gift of what? An elegant tombstone. It holds the information I just shared with you, and a deal more besides. It used to be the jealously guarded property of the 14th Legion, but it's yours now. I wish you joy of it. I look forward to working together, old friend. We shall see. Where are we now? Oh, we're at the edge of the, whatchamacallit. <clears throat> if you are ready to listen, we shall tell you all. As it pertains closely to your investigation, your leader, Rambros, may wish to be present. Rambros, where are you? Rambros, get over here. He, he's fine, he'll be here later. There he is. <laughs> Oh, this would have been perfect for a talking cutscene. <laughs> Before we begin, pray, allow me to apologize again. It was not our intent to deceive you. As you all have already gathered, we are not scholars sent by the students of Baldesian. Nay, we are clones. Copies of people who once existed, given life through elegant technology. This is rather a lot to take in. If it would not be considered unseemingly, unseemly, unseemly, sure. If it would not be considered unseemly, might I ask why you and yours were created? And more specifically, what is it that you now seek to do? All good questions. Answering your questions requires that we revisit elegant history. Pray, bear with us. The elegant empire reached its zenith long before our kind came to be. In that glorious age, the crystal tower stood tall as the symbol of elegant pride. Parents took their children there, that they might learn 
how the nigh limitless energy is produced brought prosperity to the whole empire. That prosperity, however, bred decadence, and the empire began to show signs of stagnation. This decline was made all the more rapid for want of strong leadership. In a matter of generations, the Allegan civilization became a pale shadow of its former self. Its once gleaming cities fell into despair, and its frontier lands were given over to the wilderness. Lamenting the pitiful state of affairs, our technologist made it his mission to restore Alleg to its greatness. Amon was his name, and he believed that the ailing empire wanted for but a potent ruler, and none was more potent than its founding father, whom he sought to resurrect. The founding father? You cannot mean Emperor Zandi. None other. As part of the experiments, Amon created clones of the empires of the Emperor's descendants. We are the products of that experiment, copies of Uni and Dalga. Historical texts mention the reigns of two Allegan empires named Zandi. It was commonly believed that the second was the namesake of the first. After all, such a custom is not uncommon among royalty and commoners alike to think that the two of, that the two were in fact one and the same. Aye, Zandi returned from the grave and assumed his throne once more, and true to Amon's prediction, the Emperor restored his realm to the glory it once knew. Would that he could have been satisfied with that. In his previous life, the Emperor, de the Emperor desired to bring the entire world under Oligan dominion, an ambition that ultimately went unfulfilled. Having been granted a second chance, he was determined to succeed. Realizing that he needed more power to wage his war of conquest, Zandi turned his sights towards a forbidden source, darkness. In order to learn how to harness this power, he converted the crystal tower into a restricted research facility. Uh oh, he seems happy. Darkness again? Seven hells. What is it with megalomaniacal rulers turning to darkness in their lust for power? Well, at least this one won't be bothering us, being thousands of years dead and all. I doubt that at this point. <laughs> Would that you were right, Master Garland? Alas. Emperor Zandi is very much alive. Within Circus Tower, he still abides, his ambition burning all the more ardently for his empire's collapse. Uh oh. Guess we gotta go fight him. <gasps> oh, it looks so cool. It reminds me of like the climb of the tower in uh, Sword Art Online. I need to rewatch that. That's so good. <laughs> Wielding the power of darkness requires prodigious amounts of energy, energy that not even the crystal tower could produce. In order to augment the shortfall, Dalamid was created and launched into the heavens. On high it hung, gathering the sun's energy and channeling it into the tower below. However, a miscalculation resulted in a surge of energy that escaped into the land. This triggered an earthquake of unprecedented violence, the calamity that ushered into the fourth umbral era. Ooh. In the blinking of an eye, the mighty Allegan Empire was laid to waste. Yet, even as the Crystal Tower was sinking into the earth, the technologist Amon, now Emperor Zandi's closest aide, invoked powerful magics and halted the flow of time. Every soul within the structure, the Emperor included, was placed into a deep slumber in the state they were to remain until the time was ripe to awaken. Ooh. Eris came and went. After millennia lying dormant, Dalamud was summoned back to the earth. Its descent triggered the seventh umbral calamity, in the wake of which the crystal tower re-emerged. At that moment, Emperor Zandi awakened. Oh, that, that must be him there. 
in his lust for power. The emperor consorted with darkness and was seduced by its corrupting influence. Even though his empire is now little more than a fading memory, he will stop at nothing to see his ambition realized. Wow. Tis for no other purpose but to put an end to Zandi's madness that we exist. This is the mantle we have inherited from our namesakes, the true Uni and Dolga. Fearing what might befall the world, the two of them sought to thwart their empire. They gave unto us their will, that we might carry on their mission should they fail. When we came to our senses within the Crystal Tower, we deliberated a course of action, concluding that we alone could not overcome Zandi. We struck out to find a worthy ally. It has taken years, but our search is finally over. Tis no ordinary man who can cut a path through the labyrinth of the ancients. With you as our champion, Shadow, we are confident that we can end Zandi's dark ambition once and for all. <laughs> well, that'll teach me for speaking too soon. Setting my chagrin aside. What is a chagrin? <laughs> I see now why you knew about the students of Baldessian, among a host of other things. You were observing our investigation the entire time. So what will we do, sir? The world's in grave danger again, and it just so happens you're an expert at saving it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. I'm gonna heal this world. Heal others who strive to protect it. You have our eternal gratitude. Together, let us see the Allegan Empire's dark past laid to rest. Sounds good to me. It's been our mission to recover the long lost knowledge of the Allegan civilization. But what worth is that knowledge if it means subjecting the realm to peril? Truth be told, it pains me to think that the tower's secrets may become lost to us. But the greater good must ever come first. Besides, no quantity of ancient relics can compare to our friends Uni and Toga, living, breathing Allegans. That's a fair point. You don't need the tower anymore. <laughs> and so I hereby declare a change in Noah's objective. Henceforth, we shall direct all efforts into sealing off Circus Tower. Its dark secrets. Secrets? Secrets must never know the light of day. <laughs> nor will my English. Sir, as you did for us within the labyrinth of the ancients, I would have you enter the structure and eliminate hostile elements. Suffice it to say, this includes Emperor Zondi himself. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of us shall examine ways to isolate Circus Tower from the outside world. To work then. To work, let's go. New mission, new raid. Ooh. Wait, there's something I must know. My right eye is like yours. Does does this mean? Oh, does that mean he's a descendant of royalty? You inherited inherited. <laughs> you inherited that trait from your father. You said, "Know that clones are unable to bear offspring. You have no cause for concern." The elegant eye, you called it, but to us, it is the royal eye owing to the fact that the trait manifests only in those possessed of royal blood. <gasps> He's royalty. I cannot well explain why the eye runs in your line, but I am disinclined to think it a coincidence. Though you are doubtless impatient to learn the truth, pray have patience. All will be revealed in due time. Ooh. Sounds like he's royalty to me. Oh. 
Oh. So do we get another raid now? I need to go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a quick break. I need to go a refill my drink, but I forgot. I need to change my laundry over and put it in the dryer before it starts going bad. So I'll be back in like I don't know. Shortly. Just give me a couple minutes. Oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Uh, what even kind of music do I have going on these days? This is some epic music. Ooh, I have returned. Perfect timing, actually. I love that song. Such nostalgia. I need to look up other nostalgic songs from my childhood in my Final Fantasy games. I really do. Let's move this so I don't spill it. <laughs> That's the last thing I want to do. I should have rinsed out my drink, but I'm not finished with this one. This is my energy. This is my livelihood. <laughs> Apologies, <clears throat> if I've given you a cause to worry. I am quite well, I assure you. As you can appreciate, there have been much, there has been much for me to think on. That's true. I mean, you just found out you're a descendant of royalty. I mean, <laughs> that, that, is, that is a lot. Like, take it all in slowly. But now is the time for action, not idle thoughts. Circus Tower awaits. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> Your task is to eliminate all hostile elements within the structure, Zandi himself included. This will afford us the chance to seal off the facility 
May the crystal grant you strength. Yeah, mission time. Is it raid time? Question mark? Circus tower now accessible. Let's go. Yeah, let's join up as a white mage. <clears throat> now we got some waiting to do. And while we wait, it's blue mage time. Let's go. Blue mage is literally like the perfect thing to do between. Um, Let's go to Coerthus this time. Or was I able to? No, I was able to fight the people over here. Right? I mean, they're a little strong, but stronger people means more experience, right? So I should just go fight the people for their experience over here. Uh, why is it so zoomed in? Oh, because I teleported, right? I remember now. Let's run over this way. <clears throat> That's probably gonna take a while to queue anyways. These guys, yeah, lightning sprites. Let's not forget to put our mighty guard on this time, as we would typically do. Swift cast, oh, take that. And then we can freeze him. So then we can get another 3,000 needles. Potentially two. Oh, it missed. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I can basically get 2,000 needles off while they're frozen. That's like perfect leveling, the fact that we was able to get that Ram's voice. Ram's voice is so good. Everybody was constantly telling me that Ram's voice is like the go-to. But it is seemingly so, <laughs> now that I've actually gotten it. And all I need is 2,000 needles to take these guys out. Plus a little bit. Actually, I should probably have my apple juice on. A little bit of extra experience. Um, I feel like these big burly dudes are probably going to be awful. I guess if we could try the cobra. We'll see how hard they hit. Um, let's make sure Toad Oil's on. That's probably a good call. Although that shouldn't matter as much as long as they're frozen, right? Yeah, I should be able to hit these in two plus a bit. Thousand needles. <clears throat> yeah, freezing them with Ram's voice was like the best thing to ever happen. <laughs> that is the way to level. What? Missed. I think not. Eat my water. Because I used to just, per like, paralyze them with Mind Blast, but, like, Ram's voice is just, like, a straight upgrade for an AoE stun. So then I can just do whatever I want. <laughs> Mostly being Thousand Needles, because it's a straight Thousand Damage. Especially given that I'm fighting stronger things than this. Ah, jeez, it missed. Yeah, the missing kind of sucks, but as long as it doesn't happen to Thousand Needles over and over again... It should be a relatively harmless leveling process. That, and given that we're waiting for a raid that's like, takes bajillion years to queue for. Uh-oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. He petrified me? I didn't see an AoE on the ground. I guess I should have just looked away, but I guess that's my fault. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I guess whenever they use a petrification, you should always know just to look away. Can I freeze him again? 
and it missed him. Good. Because, <clears throat> like, I can deal with one, two, maybe not so much. All right, let's paralyze this fool. Ah, oh, I missed. It keeps missing. <laughs> I just got done saying how easy this would be, and now I'm failing miserably at it. I just want the experience. Come on, all I gotta do is take you down. Good. Come on, one more. Of course it would miss. Okay, one more. <laughs> Quick, before he kills me. Double up, let's go. 37. Do I have any upgrades? I got so many gear in my inventory. Like, I feel like I gotta check for upgrades after everything. Yeah, and this is probably the worst time for me to queue. Because even the normal dungeon queues, um, whenever I'm playing this time of the night, or morning, technically, even the normal four-man dungeon queues start to slow down around this time. So the likelihood of me actually queuing this raid is probably unlikely. <clears throat> Alternatively, I could break away and continue continue these quests next time. And just do some regular main story quests. I mean, I guess I could also just do main story quests while I'm waiting for this to queue anyways. So technically, that logic is, like, out the window. Nice. Oh, my eruption missed. How sad. Nice. Because I gotta get to what? I gotta get to level 40 for my next blue mage mission. <clears throat> So I kind of feel like it would be beneficial. Oh, -ho. not that I want to level the entire time. And to be fair, not a single other person is queued up for this mission either by what I'm looking at, which kind of sucks. How's it going, Nido or Nido? <laughs> We're doing the Crystal Tower quest, but I'm kind of at an impasse. <clears throat> Waiting for the raid to queue. <laughs> so I figured I'd use a bit of downtime to try to get my blue mage to 40. But honestly, given how slow queue times are at this time in the morning, I might just go continue the main story quest instead. It might be the less painful of things to do. <laughs> The first one, the like the labyrinth one that we did first, didn't take that long to queue. I mean, it took a couple minutes to like wait up as like a couple people trickled in and then like everybody dropped at once. Ah, everything misses. Ow. So nope. Get out of here, lightning sprite. <clears throat> Give it to you straight. You're too late to get back into this game. Been four years since I've played. 
I am still working. I haven't played any of the DLCs. I'm just working on my initial Realm Reborn quests, like the initial main story quests. I don't know how far back four years would take you. Because it's been, what, two years since Endwalker? Probably a couple years since Shadowbringers. Yeah, I haven't even gotten into Heaven's Ward. <clears throat> oh, are you too late? Uh, you're, I mean, it's it. I mean, yeah, to Cabby's point, you're never too late to get into the game. But I can't really give you a lot of details since if it's been four years since you've played, then I haven't even gotten as far as you've gotten in the game. <laughs> but I'm thoroughly enjoying it, so, you know. I, I say if you're interested to just pick it back up. Like, so many people so far, as far as I've progressed, have been so helpful and cool to learn some of the missions. I don't know how the later DLCs are, so I can't speak to that. But it's it has been really good. I'm looking forward to learning about the Dawn Trail stuff that comes out. Even though it's going to be years before I get there. <laughs> It's taken me a year just to get through the Realm Reborn stuff, playing off and on. Now, given I was hardly playing during that time, and I've, I've been pretty good at playing again, finding the free time. It wasn't even about finding the free time. I was just kind of killing myself at work and then coming out exhausted. And instead of doing something I enjoy, I kind of just zone out on the TV. And then I'm just like, I kind of shook myself out of that phase. And I'm like, no. I enjoy this game. I'm going to go relax with this game. So, like, the reason it's taken me so long just to get through the initial part of the Realm Reborn, I haven't even gotten to the first DLC yet, and I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> now I make sure to play every week, and I love it so much. So if the DLC... I, like, I hear the DLC are way better story-wise than the original Realm Reborn, so given how much I'm enjoying this initial plot line and everything, I can only imagine how much worse or better it gets. I almost said worse. That's not right. <laughs> it's not getting worse. It's supposed to get better. Oh, yeah. Go at your own pace for sure. My brother really wants me to get to the late game content. I'm like, dude, I would never skip. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I want to play with you, but at the same time, like... I don't want to ruin the enjoyment that I'm having just to get to later stuff. <clears throat> You're in that phase right now. Barely playing any games at all, just turning your brain off. I was stuck in that phase for like years, honestly, where like I never really did anything. I just kind of went to work and went home, got on YouTube or Netflix and watched other play people play games or just zone out on some TV show. And it like it really feels horrible. Because at least for me, I don't know how it is for you, but for me, it kind of just felt like I wasn't really resting. I always just felt like I was just zoning out. And then for me, it just made it feel any like even worse because I wasn't getting any enjoyment out of the rest, which made it not feel like rest. So like, it took me a while to kick that phase. Hopefully you do as well. But like, you just gotta find something you enjoy and then like, you know, go at it. Whizbang says I can finish Dawn Trail within three months. That's what my brother was telling me. He says that I, because I, 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 I kind of told him how long it feels like. Oh, I didn't even realize the petrification. My bad. I told him it feels like it's going to be forever before I catch up to him, and he was like, "You misunderstand how long it takes to actually finish the story." He says if you actually finish out the story and quit getting sidetracked, that it actually isn't going to take that long to catch up to him. But let's be honest, I'm not going to stop getting distracted. <laughs> I mean, as the story gets really good, I'm sure I'm going to want to focus on it more. And to be fair, I'm really only getting distracted by all the different side questing and stuff. And what have I really side quested on? Trying out the jobs I'm interested in? But I've already gotten all of the casters to 50. I've already tried out Blue Mage. I got my white mage. The only thing I'm really going to want to try and grow at this point is my astro, but I'm going to be continuing the story with that because that's the one that I love the look of most. So, like, I feel like there's going to be less hurdles to jump as there was this last year of actually catching up on the story. 
Um, but taking notes, don't get distracted. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll add that to my notes. <laughs> but that's why I started taking notes on the different stuff I wanna do. Cause then I'm like, okay, I can slot this in now and I can slot this in there. Um, Nito was a healer main, nice. I love playing healer. It's crazy how many healers I found. <laughs> so many people have entered chat and been like, I'm a healer main. I'm like, what? There are healers out there. <laughs> Because you always hear about DPSs, and DPS is the popular one, and the queues go so fast for healers and tanks, especially as a main. And then it's like, oh, I'm actually finding so many. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely worth going through it. Not skipping anything. No way. I would never. I just got to focus on it more. Um, but I kind of found that focus. Now that I've got the rhythm of like actually playing for my enjoyment, it's helped keep me out of the slump of just coming home and zoning out. Because even on my days off, I would be so exhausted throughout the week that that would just lead into exhaustion on my days off, and then I just want to sleep. I mean, working night shift doesn't really help with that, because then I have no energy whatsoever as is. <laughs> and then if I need to stay awake during the day, and then I'm hardly sleeping, and then it's like, ugh, doesn't help getting out of the ruts that you would get into. <clears throat> Some people could do it in a month. Those people must really be marathoning it, for sure. But I read and enjoy the story too much, so I feel like I would go at a slower pace than a lot of people who just kind of like skim over the reading and kind of get the basic story. The fact that I'm actually reading it out and enjoying it is kind of slowing me down a bit. But there's no way I would do it any other way. Like, the crafting stuff, yeah, I kind of just skimmed and clicked through because those aren't as big of stories. I mean, they're bigger than I thought they would be. They're actually kind of cool stories. By the time I got to the level 50 final mission, it was actually a pretty cool cutscene and story and stuff going on, but not as cool as the main story quests for sure. You want to play DPS, but everyone plays DPS, so now you heal. Yeah, it's an unfortunate, but there's really no way to fix that, though, which kind of sucks. <clears throat> You think I could do it in two months? Probably. But let's be honest, by the time I get to Endwalker and level 70, well, I don't think I need to be an Endwalker because Reaper is in Alda. So once I get the DLC, which I already have the code for, by the time I finish Endwalker, I mean, to be fair, assuming I wait to input that code for a couple months, or was it Shadowbringers? Shadowbringers had Reaper. To get to the point of my story, I'm just trying to get to Reaper. Like, I know Reaper is level 70. So, like, I have to be level 70 before I can get the Reaper job. The only jobs I'm really going to stop for along the way is probably going to be... I want to try out Reaper, I need my Astro, and I need my Dark Knight. But I don't like tanking as much as I do um, healing. So that would probably be put on the back burner or something I want to try next. Um, but I definitely want to try out Reaper. But DPSing I can do throughout the story quest. And then as I queue up, I can be my healer. So like I shouldn't really have to slow down too much once I acquire those two. And I should be able to just focus on, focus on the gameplay. Dark Knight was fun. Dark Knight sounds fun. Like, especially if it has, like, lifesteal style abilities. That just sounds cool. So, like... As long as I can deal enough damage with it, I could try out Reaper and Dark Knight to progress the story and take a break from, like, my Black Mage, White Mage casters as I do, like, the side stuff. And then as I go in duties, I can play my main, which is the healer that I want to do. So in theory, I shouldn't have to sidetrack like I have been, spending a full stream or two growing a different job that I'm not really going to progress with, like I have with Blue Mage and with Paladin and everything else. I, I, I spent a while on Samurai learning that. Um... When I, whenever I picked up Red Mage, once I got to 50. So now that I know the jobs that I kind of want to focus on, there shouldn't be necessarily as many detours. And I should be able to just focus on the story and have fun with it, and then just pick up the jobs that open up as I go. Because I, I, I could break away and try Dark Knight in place of a DPS as I continue the story. And obviously Astro would be my healer, so I could spend a stream or two learning how to play those jobs and then continue the story with them. And then from there, it's not gonna be until level 70 when I can pick up Reaper 
but I technically can't pick it up because I don't have the DLC yet. It's not until I input my complete edition code and leave the free trial that I can pick that one up. So I might not even be able to pick that up once I hit 70, depending on when I actually hit that level cap. Because I think I can go up to level 70 right now on free trial. So maybe I can? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I, like, I doubt I'm going to that quickly get to 70 anyways through most of the stories I do. So by the time I'm ready to input the code is probably around the time I'd be hitting that level anyways. So I feel like I got a nice course of progression kind of, you know, routed out in my head. Of course, accounting for detours along the way, but it should be a lot of fun. Also, this queue is like dead right now. <laughs> Not a single other person has dropped in this forming party number. It has been at one for forever. So I think I'm just going to break away from this mission and just go continue some more of the MSQ for the next, you know, hour or two that I stay on. <clears throat> and then we could try next time. Y'all, yeah, I'll be surprised how quickly I level from the MSQ. I mean, I guess I did get to 50 pretty fast. I heard it kind of slow down, like slows down at certain points. But then again, I did hear that most of the leveling, like experience that you get does come from, um, <clears throat> does come from the MSQ story, like how much experience you get. I do have the earring, but I won't have the earring. I can't input codes in the Mog Station on free trial. So I have to actually start, I have to input my code to complete, to, to change over to the full edition of the game and leave free trial. It's just, when do I want to do that? Because obviously once I do that, I have to start paying for the monthly subscription, which I don't know that I'm necessarily benefiting from right now. Although the market board would be kind of cool. Sending tells would be kind of useful. The retainer inventory would be great at the moment. <laughs> I feel like I keep convincing myself just to input that code I got on sale now instead of waiting. <laughs> because then I could go ahead and get the earring. I keep going back and forth. It's like, do I want to leave full like free trial now or do I want to wait? There's so many things edging me towards wanting to leave the free trial. There's getting my Viera. There's the leveling earring. There's a whole lot of stuff. You would until I finish Stormblood. Yeah. I mean, since I pre-ordered, I only have till December to input that pre-order code. So I'll definitely be doing it in December. I, it, I think it said December 31st was the last day I have to input the free trial code. Um. <clears throat> so... Oh, Nito, you've been inspired. You're going to re-download? Cool. I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully you enjoy it. Normally, waiting for a party is not... It not took so long. I think maybe it's because from the time. Now your time's early morning, right? Yeah, it's at the bottom. I'm at uh, 640. I have this on 24-hour time to help you guys realize what time it is for me. So my local time, it's 640 a.m. right now. I, I found out how to change it from 12-hour from to 24-hour times. Because I know a lot of you guys watch on different time zones than me. So now you guys don't have to question, what, it's not 6 p.m., it's a.m.? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Honestly, even when I've been playing regular four-man dungeons around this time, once I leave five and it gets close to between six, seven, maybe eight, a lot of my queue times kind of like dip pretty drastically. Um, right when I first get on around 3 a.m., it's not too awful. Because I think that's still evenings for certain people that might be on the server. Um, but as soon as it hits like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. for me, like I can't even hardly queue a four-man dungeon. It's pretty bad. The duty roulette's not awful, which is why I tend to do that when I do it. But <clears throat> uh, You keep on jumping around game to game, but you're not feeling anything right now but getting back into this seems correct. I say do it then. I mean, especially if you only, if it, you know, if you just go to a month to month subscription, then it wouldn't be awful, right? Because then if you want to jump around games, you could. I know that tends to be a little bit more expensive than the other options, but you could always play it for a month and jump off or play it for a couple months, go to a different game, then redo your subscription. 
that's what's cool about it is like you're not stuck especially if you don't buy like a many month subscription if you just kind of want to get your feet wet and jump back into it i say go for it have some fun with it <clears throat> Oh, that's right. Somebody was telling me before I could just change servers to Oceana. Because that's big for raiding. West Coast still on, yeah. <laughs> you might pull a shadow and start from the base game. <laughs> it's been years and you remember barely anything. I mean, you could always do that. Set up a free trial account and start from the original game. Get back into it, have some fun, right? Now it's evening in Australia. Oh, that's true. So it would be good to swap over, Wizbang. And it, honestly, it would be good. To, how do I, how do I change servers then? You said I have to be on my character creation screen. <clears throat> and I should be able to just swap over because like honestly not a per single person has dropped in and left this forming party up here <laughs> <clears throat> I think Cabby was telling me it's pretty easy to swap swap around on servers oh just go to the main city so I can right-click my name in the character creation screen and you'll see travel to a different data center. You love the music here? Yeah, it's pretty good, Nito. Then log out and log in again. <clears throat> yeah, because wasn't... Isn't there something on the Aether right? Or does that restrict you more than logging out and doing it? Is it the visit another world server thing? Cabby says to right click on the name and character creation screen and you'll see travel to a different data center. You do the same thing to return if it's within your main data center being primal. You can travel within there so you can visit you on Exodus, for example. All right, so I gotta, hold on, I gotta log out. Oh, I see where it says connecting to my data center, okay. <clears throat> so I right click my name, visit, oh, okay, so there's world servers and then there's data centers. That's what was confusing me. I was, I was kind of mashing those together as you guys were explaining it to me. <laughs> The data center travel system allows your character to visit worlds and other data centers where you can create parties with friends, trade items, challenge duties. Certain features will be unavailable while visiting other data centers, including access to link shell and free company chat channels. Okay. <laughs> One ticket to Australia, please. <laughs> Oh, I see. So there's the North American data center and the Oceanian data center. So you're saying to move to Materia? Oh, Aether is good for raiding? <clears throat> I could try Aether. Or were you guys saying the Oceanian one would be... I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> I just went to Primal Excalibur because it sounded cool. My only worry is the other North American ones, would they still have long queue times because I'm a bad... I'm at, like I'm at a bad time in the morning. 
Or maybe that's where, if you're saying that one's good for raiding, because a lot of people go on there to raid, maybe it'd be good to try that one first. Whoa. The funny thing is I almost chose Cactuar. <laughs> what are the other names? I haven't looked at these in forever. Like, I almost went here to the to the Aether Cactuar when I first started, but my brother thought Excalibur sounded cooler, so we started there. <laughs> Aether's pretty popular, so is Crystal. Cool. Let's just click it and try it out. So it retrieves the world data. Oh, that's what that means after their name, where it had the little, like, flowery thing and then Excalibur. Does that always show my home server? Like, whenever people talked in chat and it showed, like, this word and then that, I never realized what that meant. Do I play a lot of Final Fantasy? I haven't played Final Fantasy in years, but I grew up playing it. I grew up playing 3 and 4 and 10 and some of the tactics games. So getting back, and I've always loved, like, the creatures within the world and everything else. So it takes time to travel. Okay. <laughs> I'm on the train. I'm heading over. Fly me there. You played four recently and then threw Excalibur with your ninja. <laughs> hey, have a ride safely. Let's go. Oh, so this icon shows I'm traveling. Okay. <clears throat> your character is currently in a data center different from your home worlds. To return, select return to home world from the character subcommand menu before logging in. Okay. Primal Exodus here. <laughs> Look at all the people. <laughs> That's a decent amount of people. What they're doing, who knows. I feel like the primal server that I'm on starts to decline this time of morning. So I'm kind of curious if this one changes at all. Hey, I did it. I traveled safely. <laughs> oh, I can't do this because I'm blue mage. Oops. I was like, why can't I click on anything? And then everything pretty much acts the same when you travel, then. Like, there's really nothing different. It's just... the Link Shell free company stuff. Dang. Is that the Paladin's ability? Yeah, it is. That's cool. <clears throat> I did do this, Nito. I did. <laughs> Just different and more people, that's all. <laughs> I guess that would make sense. So that little, like, flower icon is telling them what server they're on or what server they're from. Like, if I talk, will it say... No party members. <laughs> Who's this guy? Shall we dance? Is that the dancer? It is the dancer. Ooh, level 60. Nice. I'll try that out one of these days. Oh, that's right. The market board prices. True. They would be different, wouldn't they? <clears throat> Not that I have ever seen what a market board looks like. <laughs> one of these days, I will see the market board. One of these days. I mean, we've gotten progress. There is now two people in this party. That's more than the one we were at over the last 20 minutes. Housing as well. Oh, I haven't learned about all the housing yet. How does that work? Doesn't that cost money or something? Or gill, I guess. Or no. Cuz I haven't I haven't checked out all the all the housing stuff yet. <clears throat> it looks cool. I can see that I can craft a lot of housing stuff in my crafting menu. 
but like I haven't learned much about the housing or you know what transpires and what you can do there At least there's actually people here. <laughs> Used to be clicking Savage, but it's now Lotto instead. And yes, you place a bid for different size housing. Oh, so you bid for it. Interesting. I'm learning so much today. I mean, we'll hang around here for a few minutes. I mean, I know the suggestion was Oceana, <laughs> which is the one that I didn't travel to. <laughs> but at least there's people dropping in this queue now. We'll give it a few minutes to see if it if it queues at all. In the meantime, we'll level we'll level the blue mage a little bit more. We're only like what two, maybe three levels off from our next blue mage mission, because we gotta be level forty. I'm assuming I have to wait till 50 to actually do the, I forget what it's called, the Blue Mage Circus thing. Three to four million for small? Oof. I'm currently capped at what, 300,000? <laughs> That's like nothing compared to what other people can do. Oh, I should probably drink more juice. Three to four million for a small, a medium is 55 million? Dang. You don't even want to know what a large is? I feel like I would just go with a small. <laughs> Mostly large houses are for free community or clubs. True, true. Heck, I can't even get a small. That's so much money. I mean, maybe it's not that bad, but since I'm currently capping out, I mean, I did cap out at my 300,000. So maybe one day, once I actually transition to the full game, I can actually buy this, save up my money and check out the housing. Ah, oh, I got interrupted. Rude. You love your tiny cap at Den Cafe? You sell food and tea? Nice. I haven't even gone to the areas where the housing is at to look at it before. Because can't you just go to the area and roam around the place? It's not the kind of thing where it's like a private housing where you gotta be invited or whatnot to it, right? Isn't it just an area you can go to and look around? Or am I wrong? Like, it's a no joke when I literally say I know nothing about housing. <laughs> Your boyfriend has a big Omni crafting area and toy shop. That sounds cool. My place would probably look like a vampire lives there. <laughs> <laughs> Just because if I can collect and craft anything that's more like gothic architecture and like, you know, older style housing cottage type stuff. Like, I love that aesthetic. <clears throat> he enjoys tinkering and crafting everything. Nice. It is fun, though. Like, I get I get some relaxation type of enjoyment out of just crafting after work. So, like, I can definitely understand that. <clears throat> Dang it. Quit interrupting me. Rude. I also failed to freeze him. I'm screwed. <laughs> I thought he was frozen. I wasn't even paying attention. You love gathering your inner herbalist? Yeah, gathering's fun. I don't know what I like the most. I like the look, I like mining best right now, but that's just because I like the way my miner glams at the moment. 
Like, comparing the level 50 gear that I crafted for all of my crafters, I just think miner, or gatherers, you know what I mean? I think my miner looks the coolest. So, when it comes to that. <laughs> miner is fun too. As far as the one I like playing the most, I don't know. I don't know. I just like my miner because of the clams. And I like, I like my weaver because he looks all fancy. So like, as far as my crafter goes, I like my weaver the best just because he looks fancy. But as far as crafting, I like goldsmith crafting. Then again, any of the crafters that I can craft with, um, that I can craft stuff for my casters, which I think is weaver and goldsmith. That's why I like them the most. Because <laughs> I can actually make cool stuff for the for the jobs I like playing most at the moment. Weaver, botanist, and miner. Yeah. Did I already do my mini cactus? Yeah, I thought I had. <clears throat> oh. That queue is getting nowhere. Before I continue the MSQ real quick, let's try. You guys were suggesting what? Um, visit another world server. You guys were suggesting Oceana. What? You want to up your leather working and you want to make furniture? Yeah, do it. What? Do I have to return home first? I've broken it. <laughs> yes, let's return home. Because <clears throat> I think multiple people suggested Oceana. I know, I did it all on my own. Be proud. <laughs> Man, the sun's almost come up. That's how you know I've been playing for a long time. It hasn't been almost five hours. That's crazy. It really doesn't feel that long when I play. Um, Visit another world server. Log into Famfrit now available? What? Oh, I should have clicked data center instead of world, right? Was I just clicking the wrong thing? I was like, why does this not look like what I'm trying to do? It was data center I needed, right? Not world. Is that what I was messing up? <laughs> Jeez, hold on. I need to go to my home world. <laughs> Then I visit another data center. There it is. I figured it out. <laughs> you don't know why, but you can't travel to JP or EU. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's reasons. Uh, Sephiroth, sure. I'm sure it limits it for a reason. What that reason is? Who knows? Of 
Oh, look at all the people here. I did travel, right? Or did I not? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't reading things. No, this is welcome to Excalibur. <laughs> I'm failing at life. Why are there so many people here? I mean, I guess they might be doing very specific missions. <clears throat> I wasn't reading that pop-up. What did that pop-up say? Because I don't think I traveled. <laughs> Who knew traveling would be so hard? I just want to do the thing. And I'm failing at it. Oh, I see. So this is... Oh, you think you got the same message you got? <clears throat> so what does clicking it out here do? This doesn't travel, right? This just changes my data center, which I don't have a character on. Okay. So that's how I can just play a character on a data center. Cool. I'm learning. <clears throat> All right, so I can just make characters on different data centers. Then I don't have to travel. Is there a benefit to that? Versus just traveling? Let's actually read what the message says now. Retrieving world data. Oh, well, now I'm traveling. I don't think I actually traveled last time. That's weird. <clears throat> maybe if certain servers are more full, maybe? Then it doesn't... It fails on the travel? I don't know. I'm just speculating. Okay, so now I am in the Oceana data center. <clears throat> Not sure. Yeah, it's very interesting. As a newbie traveling, I have no insight. <laughs> okay, so when I log in, I can see it says welcome to server. Got it. Now the question is, if I queue up a mission, is it going to queue any faster? The chat is certainly moving faster. <laughs> progress, progress. Circus Tower. <clears throat> now I can run in circles. Hmm? The question is, is there servers on this data center that are more populated than others? That would be the question. You <laughs> cross your fingers for me? I appreciate it. I mean, I already got another person in the party queue. That went faster than usual. <clears throat> but I guess if the people that primarily play in this data center are currently in the evening, then it should definitely queue faster than the people that would necessarily play on my North America one, <clears throat> which is mostly in the morning, if not late night. So as far as traveling data centers, that actually makes a lot of sense now. I'll have to try that. And we will slowly learn the time of day for me because the background's about to slowly turn orange as the sun comes up. <laughs> My curtains are not the best. So we're about to breach nighttime, early morning light, and the background's gonna slowly go orange. <laughs> That's usually how I know it's time to go off. When I look down at my like preview and I see the background is orange, I'm like, oh, I've been playing for too long. <laughs> the sun is up. It's time for me to go to bed. <clears throat> I 
I mean, it like the world is definitely more populated than the one I'm used to playing on in my server. <clears throat> Although to be fair, the queue before when I had queued it up went immediately from like four people in queue to all 24 being in queue. So I don't know how these numbers for forming the party update, but I can't imagine 20 some people all queued for it at the same time and just immediately queued it. So maybe seeing that it's at a low amount of people, I should just kind of wait. What is this person? Sage's path. Oh. So that's where, so Sage is level 70 as well. Got it. That's good to know. Oh, I just went in a circle. So this must be the dancer. Cool. <clears throat> eh, regardless, we'll just go level. We'll just go level. I'm level 55 already? Dang. I didn't realize I was already level 55. What are my other ones? Okay, so yeah, 52 on my black mage, almost 53, that makes sense. <clears throat> I don't do duties as much with my DPS, so the fact that my healer is a bit higher up makes sense. What is level black mage a bit? I mean, to be fair, I have been playing five hours. I don't know if I want to get fully invested in more story missions. <laughs> I kind of feel like just leveling Black Mage or my Blue Mage and then seeing seeing if it queues is my best bet at this point. This guy sucks. He keeps stunning me. <clears throat> I need to fight other people than this sprite. It's time to get fully invested. Nice. Do it. Yeah, like, I definitely need to freeze this guy so he can stop stunning me. <clears throat> what? Oh, wait, he is frozen. I was going to say, I'm like, is he not frozen? Ow. Ah. Interruptions. I hate the thunder spells. What is the chance of the thunder spell actually interrupting me? Oh, I missed. <laughs> I really should be fighting lower level people. This is not going in my favor. Oh, I don't have my defense up. Jeez, I'm a fool. Get away from me. Oh, that's right. I can put him to sleep, can I? Go to bed. I'm out of here. <laughs> I need to fight somebody that doesn't interrupt me. I'm trying to level with Thousand Needles off of somebody that interrupts you is the worst idea possible. What was I thinking? Are you still chasing me? Get out of here. Be gone, you foul beast. I want to leave. Okay, fine. I'll go all the way away. How far do I have to run away from somebody before it... closes... Is it still on battle music? Oh, there it goes. That's insane. That's such a long range. You literally can't just easily run away from people, can you? I think Coerthus should have some lower level people. I mean, I'm only two and a half levels away from being 40 and then can do another Blue Mage mission. Huzzah! Alright, what level are these people? <clears throat> We got our mighty guard up now, too. 35? That's kind of more fitting. How much experience do I get from these guys? Three thousand? Uh, it's about half as much. I don't like it. I don't like that I can't one-shot people with my thousand needles, either. How much damage do my regular abilities do? Would that be faster than 1,000 needles? No, it's only 100. That is awful. 
thousand needles is definitely the way. <laughs> <clears throat> but at least I should miss less. Because I was fighting, what, 45-ish people? I could probably go up to 40. I should probably just look up a leveling guide and see where enemies they suggest fighting. Because I should be able to fight people up to 40. I just don't know where those people exist at. What level are you? 36? Better. I don't remember the levels of people in the areas they're in. I mean, it'd probably be faster just to, like, single queue um, a dungeon. <clears throat> How much experience do I get from a fate? Eat this. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Wish me luck. Boom. Oh, that's right. I should just freeze him. What am I thinking? I won't miss my abilities at this level, so I really should just freeze everybody and then get two cactar needles off. Nice. Ram's voice is just too good. Hey, you dragons, get over here. <laughs> Frozen in place. Get wrecked. Destroyed. And it's such a tease to have like the astrologian people in this area, and yet I still can't actually be an astro. I don't like it. It's not very nice. What? I like how I got one with that. <laughs> Who's attacking me? You ran all the way over there and then decided to turn around and attack me? Rude. How dare you? I love Ram's voice so much. It makes things so much easier. <clears throat> Having this and then losing it must feel awful. Not that I would lose it. You know what I mean. There's you. I got some in my pocket for you as well. Sucka. <laughs> ah, yes. One shots. You gotta love them. Whoa. There's a second one. Don't attack that guy. Focus me. No, don't destroy that. I need that. Astroscope log? That seems useful. Is that it? Success. 8,000 experience. Not bad. Not bad. Can't complain. I mean, even if these missions, like these 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 raids, don't work out at the times in which I'm playing, I can always set up, try to stream in a slightly different time one of these days. <clears throat> Boom! Get wrecked. Where's my map? <clears throat> Cause I could just go fight some various, various fates. Then I can get the experience and then just extra experience out of them. I'm sure there's like a min maxi way to level blue mage. That's both fast and efficient. 
Because, like, is the time that I would invest... Oh, these guys are 49. Nope. <laughs> like, is the time that I would invest in, like, a dungeon versus running around open world, like, counterintuitive? Like, if I knock out multiple people that are, like, 3,000 experience versus getting, like, 15,000 from a boss versus the time it would take me in a certain dungeon to get a boss, like, how do you min-max that? <laughs> a fade up here. Injured, four temps, sentry. Well, let's see what level you are, and we'll go from there. Ah, level 38 people. Nice. Let's give this a try. <clears throat> I don't think I've done this fate. I need to look at what fates you can actually, like, get stuff from. And which ones you can't. Was it a tower defense? What am I supposed to be doing? I didn't read. Uh, something, something, sentry, house, tracked. Oh, you're being attacked by wolf clubs. Well, that's not good. I feel like I'm supposed to be taking him somewhere. Or defending him. <clears throat> oh, jeez. It didn't kill him. He's too strong. <laughs> Freeze! Feel my ice, even though you're a snow pup who lives in an icy area. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna start becoming less and less effective now. <laughs> Maybe I should get my uh, toad's toad oil going. Yeah, because I deal like no damage to these people. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe I should use my AoE debuff. And then see how much damage I do. Still only 122. That's not better than hitting three people with my thousand needles. I'm gonna run over here in hopes that I only hit one. Nope. One can try. One can also fail. Oh, did you paralyze me? Ah, you jerk. I don't want to Ram's Breath again. I want to hope I don't get paralyzed out of my Thousand Needles is what I want to do. Safe. Noise. Safe. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've sort of jumped around to multiple different servers and data centers and whatnot. And it doesn't seem like it's speeding up at all as far as the queue for this. <laughs> we tried, though. We tried. <clears throat> it's probably just a bad time to do it, honestly. Uh-oh. Don't stun me. Nice! I want to get a Tonberry ability. You just like shimmy up to people and poke them. <laughs> as Tonberries do best. That's probably a thing, honestly. As much as I joke about it, there probably is a Tonberry stabby ability. Because I got my Cactuar ability and I love my Cactuars. So if I can get like a stabby ability <clears throat> from the Tonberries, then it would kind of go full circle. Get out of here. Hey, fake complete. Let's go. 8,000 experience. Not bad. All right, where's more fates? I mean, there's two going on down there, but those are level 50 areas. So I don't think I want to do those. Especially not fates. Fighting multiple level 40 plus people? Ugh. That sounds awful. Maybe we could try. I mean, if I'm going to teleport away anyways, <laughs> what difference does it make if I get my butt kicked? <clears throat> but there's no way I'm going to be able to single target people. Maybe if there's other NPCs fighting and I just kind of tongue one person away at a time and then freeze and thousand needle them twice, then maybe. 
We'll see what the fate is going on over here and make a decision on it. Oh, is this fighting a big dude? Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know, but there's too many people here. <laughs> there's no way. There's too many people there. I'm going to get mauled by multiple level 50 people. I'm not even level 40 yet. That's a horrible idea. Um, We're in what? Corthus now? Um, We could try Southern Thanalon. I'm trying to remember the levels of the people in all these areas. I can't remember. Whoops. What is the blue quest over here? Oh, that's the Malja encampment, right. <clears throat> Level 26 people, I don't know how I feel about that. How much experience do you think I would get from those? Oh, these are level 42 people, but I need them for my hunting log. This might be doable. The question is if I target, say, this guy and kind of pick him off. Come here. Will it attract the attention of his friends? I can't one-shot them, but if I freeze, I should be able to two-shot them in the duration time frame. So this might be doable. Assuming I don't miss, anyways. Missing would kind of suck. But if I pull them in and then freeze them, and then do 2,000 needles, assuming it doesn't miss, then that should be a good combo to level up. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. Picking them off one at a time. <laughs> I think he got one arrow shot on me. What is Voyager? I attracted the attention of a second person. Get over here. Amalja Archers, complete. It's a guess. <clears throat> oh, that's right. We could just go collect the rest of the hunting log that I need for my whatchamacallit. That would be kind of smart. Once we're done this phase, what is that? Oh, I got back attacked. Is that help? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> They're archers. I'm getting shot in the back. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm running straight into a Thaumaturge. <laughs> I jumped off a cliff. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, what are these other hunting long ones? Southern Thanalon and the Sagoli Desert. All right, let's go to Forgotten Springs, because there should be an Amalja Halberdier. Because in order to progress my next level in my, uh, what are they called? I forget what they're called. <clears throat> With the Immortal Flames. What are they called now? I don't remember. They should just be right out here somewhere. Because this is the Sagoli Desert question is where in the Sigoli Desert? Oh, I failed. Was that what the was that the fate I was fighting earlier? I got 6,000 experience out of it, though. That's not bad. Where'd the Emulja out here? I think they're over here, if I remember correctly. We'll go knock them out real quick. Wrap up some hunting log stuff. I don't need the Divinator. Ah, jeez. I need the Halberd, guys. Let's try to snipe him away real quick. Nice. <clears throat> oh, one shot. Nice. I can one shot these guys. That's going to make life even easier. All right, where are the other halberd guys? Oh, we got two right here. That'll be perfect because I only need, what, three? Yeah. Oh, that's a divinator. 
thought that was a halberd in his hand. It's actually a staff. I don't want it to attract his attention, though. I mean, I guess I could just freeze him. Does he stay long, stunned long enough for me to just one-shot him? Yeah, I don't even have to waste time freezing him. All right, I need one more halberd guy. There you are. You're gonna wish you weren't standing here. <laughs> he doesn't even notice me. Look at this man. He thinks he's safe standing here guarding the place. Nope. <laughs> Get wrecked. All right, there's some kobolds we need. Actually, all I need is two more entries. No, it says I need three. Which one am I missing? Oh, there's the Sav attenders in Central Saint Alon. Central. <clears throat> and the Sav attenders are where? Cutter's Cry. Where's Cutter's Cry? <clears throat> the clutch. Spineless Basin. Black Brush. It does say Central, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's way up north. Okay. Because I only need one of those. We can knock that out real quick and then move on. Why does it say there's cactuars up here? Where are the cactuars? That's black brush. <clears throat> yeah, it says there's cactuars up in Cutter's Cry. That's not true. Where are these guys hiding? I feel like there's more cactuars over by Al Amigo. But it's trying to send me to Cutter's Cry to fight these guys. Oh, is it actually... Oh, this isn't actually Cutter... Oh, was Cutter's Cry the dungeon? Uh. Whoops. <laughs> I think Cutter's Cry is actually the dungeon. Yeah. I mean, I know there's some over by Al Amigo. Let's make sure there aren't Sabatender deserters there. If not, we'd have to do Cutter's Cry, and I don't know if we can do that. What is Cutter's Cry? Oh, that's the level 38 dungeon. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can solo that. I mean, I technically can't even do that yet. <clears throat> oh, that's right. These are the Baylor guys. How about my MSQ? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I was waiting for this to queue because I'm probably going to get off soon. I mean, I guess I could do a little bit of MSQ. But I figured I'd, like, now that I'm down to, like, I would normally be getting off in an hour or so, or a little bit less. That's why I didn't want to get heavily invested in another portion of the MSQ. And I figured I would just clean up some stuff while I waited on forming the party to see if it popped while I was cleaning up other stuff, like my hunting log and leveling up my, uh, my dudes. I mean, alternatively, I might have a paladin quest or so to do, but that doesn't really directly influence my progression and what I'm working on. 
That's just kind of like a side job. I can't do another blue quest. My next blue quest is level 40. That's why I'm just running around fighting people and leveling up my blue mage. I've already done the level 30 blue quest. The next one is until level 40. And I've gotten all the spells that I can acquire. Because the only other spell that I think I can acquire is the one spirit dude looking dude. <clears throat> Over in Northern Thanalon. But I can't solo him. Especially not at level 37, because he's a level 50 open world boss, dude. Um, so I'm kind of stuck just like cleaning up stuff like my immortal flame so I can level that up. Fighting people to level up my blue mage. Doing some dungeons with a blue mage might level it up faster with the boss experience that I would get by level syncing it. So like maybe that would be a smarter thing to do. <clears throat> Um, Eastern Lenosha. But since I only got two more in my Immortal Flames, I can try to do that. And then potentially, I don't know if there's a mission involved in my Immortal Flames in order to progress my level up again. Which is why I kind of detoured to my hunting log since I was fighting things anyways to try to level up. Where's Bloodshore? Bloodshore's to the south. Are there kobolds down here? I probably should just be Googling, like, the coordinates of certain people rather than just running around blind looking for people that I might not know where they exist. They're probably by this camp, no? Yeah. Nope, these are Kirkin. <laughs> Screw it, I'm Googling it. <laughs> Cabold missionary. Look at that, there's just an image on the map. They're way up north. I was about to run into them anyways. <laughs> They're up here. Ooh, buffalo? No, 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 we better not. There's the kobolds. I should be able to one-shot these guys. Nope. How sad. I need to find people that would be good to just one-shot and grab some quick levels off of is what I need to do. I'm just going to freeze these guys. <clears throat> Boom. <laughs> Although only doing 300 apiece is kind of relatively slow. We'll be fine. Whoa. They're not frozen anymore. Now. I'll take it. Nice. All right, let's pick this guy off. Because <clears throat> I'm assuming I won't attract his friends. Noise. Because I'm only getting a couple thousand. It probably would be quicker to do a dungeon to level up. Um, let's drink another apple juice. Keep the experience boosted. All right, Kabold Sidesman, where are you at? Um, Upper Lenosha, in the upper of Upper Lenosha. Two Camp Bronze Lake, let's go. Because I'm what? I'm almost level 38, so I'm two levels before the next Blue Mage mission. Whoops. I always forget you don't leave your mount when you teleport. <laughs> I will never remember that. Ever. Alright, we're... Oh, I gotta go up here. 
There's the Pitman. We're looking for the Sidesman. How convenient. Can I attack you without you aggroing your friend? You? I like how his friend just doesn't care. <laughs> his friend just like, what's going on? What? All right, one more. Patrolman. Oh, there's a dungeon here? I don't remember that. What was this dungeon? Last one I have is my Sabatender Deserter. Whoops. Nope. Leave me alone. <laughs> Try me now, patrolman. Try me now. Oh, the tower queued. Let's go. Let's swap back over to my white mage. Now we're talking. This is going to be utter chaos now. <clears throat> Waiting on a couple DPS. Party member withdrew. We were so close. There it goes again. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, those Sever Tender Deserters are only in Cutter's Cry. I mean, if we can level up to 38, we could try to pick off people one at a time in Cutter's Cry. Especially now that we have our freezing ability with our Ram's voice. And then we can try. Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh. Look at this place. That's cool looking. <clears throat> Oh, and then we'll have to see how the icons look on everybody. Nice. Oh, yeah, having these grayed out names looks so much better. I like that way better. It makes life so much easier to tell who's who. I kind of want to decrease these alliance things as well, because I feel like that's going to be less useful. <clears throat> The grayed out names are perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so the steps you take don't matter. Oh, look at the dragon. Oh, I'm going to regen our tank. And then regen everybody else. <clears throat> Get a few arrows going, keeping an eye on everybody's health. Heal him up. Get a regen on him. Keep him alive. All right, we got to be careful now because he was taking a lot of damage there. <clears throat> Let's get the AOEs rolling. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not going to let anybody die this time. Unless they run in without me, in which case they're on their own.
But yeah, the grayed out names is perfect. Because that pulls all of my attention away from it, rather than the bright green ones that it was on for whatever reason. What is that? It's like a dog-headed multi-something or other. <laughs> Utter chaos. All right, we'll get a regen. Now we can kind of look around the screen and easily see where all of our people are standing at, which feels so good. I can't even express how good that feels. <clears throat> what are these orbs? I don't understand the orbs. They're running over to what? It looks like that healer ran to the thing over there to get rid of the orb. I'm assuming that's what you got to do. Whoops. All right, that DPS isn't taking my heals. What is this crystal thing? Oh, I'm frozen. <laughs> no, I'm frozen. Oh God, save me, save me, save me. I'm gonna hit. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. What do I gotta do to get saved? I'm dead. How do I avoid being frozen? <laughs> Good, insta res. That's what I like to see. Nice. <clears throat> I need to look up this mission. I, I mean, I'm, I, I saw the crystal thing hitting me, so I'm assuming that's what caused the freeze. But how do I avoid that? Did I let it touch me, maybe? I don't know. Curiouser and curiouser. Got a mask. And some boots. I'm gonna pass on everything now. I can always do stuff later. To get, like, my glamours. Because I don't want to overdo my glamours. <clears throat> Alright. All of our people are fighting this one over here. Oh, these guys are dying so fast. <laughs> nice. Oh, dragon. <laughs> it's the green dragon. Ah. All of the heals. I got you, bud. Don't worry. <laughs> it's taking so much damage. Get a regen back up on him. Nice. That's how you do it. <clears throat> nice. That wasn't that bad. I need to find a better way to keep an eye on the debuffs and whatnot. On certain people. So I know if I need to assume of them or whatnot. Because I feel like that might be beneficial at some point in life. Jumpy plates? <laughs> oh, it's this guy. I remember this guy from Final Fantasy III. He looked different in sprite form, but other than that. And we're going in. Actually, I kind of want to regen the tank real quick. Did I arrow that guy yet? I don't think so. What is that? Oh, AOE. Dang. I like the effect of that, though. Look at this punchy dude. <laughs> Let's get regen back on tank. I feel like just keeping regen on people 24-7 is just like a good, like, 
oh dang, I panic, I don't know what's going on, but wait, they're still getting heals kind of thing. That guy grayed out. <clears throat> what happened? Oh, there he is. Something happened to him. <laughs> he just falls over. <laughs> the poor man. Dragon. Let's go. Regens. Let's go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was a fiery blast if I've ever seen one. I don't think my regen is on him, though. Oh, that was a hit. <laughs> don't worry, Tank, I got you. Ouch. Let's not get hit by that. He went down so fast. I guess that is the power of a group of 24 people. <laughs> I feel like this only gets worse later on. <gasps> what is that? He looks kind of familiar. Amon? He's like a masquerade kind of dude. That's cool. He was the one from those two people's story. Amon, right? I need to move these things, too. I don't like where those are positioned. Got all our DPS group together. Let's go ahead and get a heal real quick. Ooh, what is that? A Kum Kum? Interesting. He's literally putting on a show. <laughs> That's crazy. So he's got the purple thing on him. What's he doing with that? It chases them? Are they crossing paths or? I don't know. Can I assume that? Nope. Has no effect. <laughs> oh, everybody's standing behind it? Sure. Do as others do. Got it. <laughs> oh, look at that blast. Oh. I got you. Don't worry. Noise. How did he get hit by that blast anyways? Oh, look at those robes. Oh, this is the final battle. Oh, it's against the big dude. Cutscene? Look at that. You fight validly, mortals, but to no avail. Oh, look at this classic music. This is my childhood. <laughs> Absolute darkness draws nigh. Soon it will be unleashed. No, don't do it. Thanks for waiting, everybody. I'm on my way. 
I'm here. Three, two, one, go. This is gonna be so cool. <laughs> Ooh, AOEs. What does that do? Oh, he's got giant fist explosions. <laughs> Talk about utter chaos. Let's get another heal on everybody while they're still grouped up. That'd probably be a good idea. Oh, that was the perfect time to heal. What is going on? Ow. What, does everybody have to stand in those, maybe? I don't know. When in doubt, do what others do. Mine is the power of darkness. Ooh. Now what's going on? We're splitting up. What's happening? <laughs> Kill things. Sure. Get in on everybody. Wow. <clears throat> do we have to leave or do we stand on that or? I'm confused. Run. Uh, Swift heal. I got you. Actually, while everybody's grouped up, I should probably go ahead and get an AOE on them. <clears throat> nice. This is so cool. I like how they're just giant bosses. Nice. Whoa, run. <laughs> Now that's an explosion. <laughs> I'm running out of mana. I need to watch my mana. Oh, let's go. Life is a circus. <laughs> You've been defeated, you fool. Now what? He's literally got wrecked. <laughs> that was so awesome. Other than letting two people die at one point, that was pretty cool. I feel like I did my job as a healer that time. I also feel like it was way less distracting having all the aligned people as a dark gray. Because then I know who not to click on if I need to click them real quick or something. Because like if, I'm, if like my mouse is hanging over here instead of going to the right, I can just click them to the left. That was awesome. <laughs> what is this pirate hat? Amon's hat. Ooh. Okay, I feel like that's important. I'm going to greet on that one. There's no way that one's not important. Shattered orchestration scroll? Sure. Faded copy of whatchamacallit? I'll need on that, sure. Insufficient inventory space? Ah, jeez. Get rid of this junk. Okay, let's need on that. And we'll need on that. And we'll need on that. And a wind-up onion knight? Oh, we're needing on that. What does this look like? Those are a little weird. Sure, we'll greet on it. Should I pass it? What is this? Ooh, healing pants. I need those. Ooh, healing shirt. I'll need that. I'll pass on them close for now. Red mage. I didn't get the wind-up, dude. I'll have to do it again for the wind-up, dude. That was kind of cool. Let's 
So what did I get out of that? I got Scylla's robe of healing. What does that look like? Whoa! It's so fluffy. I don't know. I don't know if it's my thing, but it looks fancy. Look at that. <laughs> it's so fluffy. All right, all right, we'll put it to the side. We don't need to wear it right now. We got, we got better stuff. No gloves. Pants? These pants actually useful. So we got the pants and the robes from that set. Nice. Put the cleric's pants to the side. Look, I'm not wearing pants. Technically, I'm wearing shorts. But <laughs> I like how you can just see my legs now. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Controller? My keyboard died. And we're back. <clears throat> that was cool. I want to do that again. Leaving a good impression three. Nice. What now? <gasps> a void portal. Sir. Yes. I just beat up a dude. What you need? You did it. You defeated Emperor Zonde. Yeah, I did. Get wrecked, Zondi. <laughs> Empires may rise and fall, but man's indef indefigible. Indefatigible. What does that even mean? English? Send help. <laughs> ah, but his spirit ever lives on. Truly, you are the champion we had hoped for. Thank you. I tried. I feel like I did better that time than the first dungeon we did, the first 24 man. With Emperor Zande now at Eternal's rest, his dark legacy may be undone. I hope so. What's the dark portal though? <gasps> he was the one in the red armor, we were right. Our memory does serve us well. What are you playing out now, Nero? Does he become a good guy? In case you haven't noticed, Garland. These are dangerous surrounds. Can a man be faulted for exercising due caution? No. <laughs> At any rate, you needn't mind me. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. Go on and finish what you came to do. Does he have a hidden agenda? There's got to be something he's after. There are two ways that we, we may seal off Circus Tower. Either isolate it from the outside world, or cripple its ability to produce energy. Okay. The choice of method is yours to take. Before you proceed, however, Doga and I must needs attend to a task. What task is that? That? What is that? Is that a rift? A void rift? That distortion? What is it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> My legs. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I need some pants. <laughs> I need to fix my glams. The power that Zondies sought to obtain comes from the void. The world of darkness, our people called it. Oh, is that a portal to the world of darkness? And the true nature of that power was none other than the armies of Void Scent. Ooh. Void Scent feed on Aether, as you may already know, and no plane is richer in it than ours. In exchange for their allegiance, Zondi ex it entered into an unholy covenant. He would open a gate through which the Void Scent could freely enter our world. The covenant, I'm afraid to say, is still in effect. However, being of the Emperor's lineage, Uni and I believe that we can annul it. Ooh, hopefully. They're gonna use their magical blue hand powers? By his blood, Zondi sealed his dark pact. By our blood, it shall be undone. It is time. Let's go close it. 
Yes, Doga. Finally, we may fulfill our per- Look at this guy just wandering around in the background. What is he searching for? There's something in this castle he's looking for. I did not miss that. I don't know if you guys saw that behind my camera. But Nero is just wandering around with his compass thing and like <laughs> trying to figure out like he's looking for something. He's got a hidden agenda. The question is what? Is there some kind of magical Allegan tech he's trying to get? Oh, he found it. <laughs> oh no. He's crying out in evil laughter. That can't be good. Oh, be still my harding beat. For a moment, I feared that this outing would end in disappointment. But my readings were not mistaken. Not even the Ultima weapon compares to this. What are you doing? I said that already, Said. <laughs> Does he want whatever's in that portal, maybe? Maybe he doesn't want us to close it. The covenant is everlasting. No, it's not. Who is that? <gasps> that can't be good. <gasps> it's evil versions of them. Many, many evil versions. So they cloned evil versions of them? <clears throat> what? Uh-oh. Oh no, my crystal brain. It's activating. <gasps> oh, are these all void scent? And so Maricidia is brought into the fold. Soon all the world shall be united under Allegan rule. And yet, with every dream that becomes reality, the memory of death grows ever more vivid. An endless void, bare fit of light and warmth. Though I may have defeated death, it did not leave me unscathed. Nay, its ravening claws have scarred my soul for eternity. Never shall I know peace. Who are your friends? Beings without will, you cannot fathom my rage, my melancholy, my fear. Probably not. What worth is wealth and power when all must inevitably be consigned to nothingness? If man has nothing, he need not know the pain of loss. So let there be nothing. Oh, that's what he's up to. Harvest more power, that the gate may be thrown full open. Let the cloud of darkness come and engulf the world, devouring all life, hopes, and dreams. Let all be returned to nothingness. No, don't do it. So he's trying just to destroy everything so that he feels a place in the world again. What? But we defeated him. Oh, but his people are still acting upon... The goals? Thanks for saving me, bro. I needed that one. Sir, pull yourself together. You don't understand. I can't. It's a crystal dream. I have no control over these. I don't think. Is there no end to them? What in the seven hells is happening? Oh, his eye. Something's happening. Sid, look out. Oh, look at that. Does he have a sword pistol? I didn't even notice that. Oh, geez. That looks like it hurt. Good job. Get him, Nero. Good thing we brought him along. Look at his armor. Oh, look at that gun blade. <laughs> I need to try out Gunbreaker eventually. The weapons for it look so cool. I used a gun lance when I played Monster Hunter for a while, and that was awesome. Big pokey and then giant booms. <laughs> Nero, were they part of your plan too? Save your japes, Garland. I didn't put up with your arrogant face to play with worthless clones. What is he after then? They're like imbuing with darkness. Something controls them. A void scent and no ordinary one at that. Doga. Doga, no. Ah, uh, he's being consumed. 
No, no, go. Is this that big green lady we're gonna fight next? I remember the big green lady from Final Fantasy III. Ah, she's sucking them in. No, confound it. Without them, there's no way to master the darkness. That power is mine. <gasps> That's what he's after. He wants the darkness, just as Zondi did. Oh, you just lost your weapon. Good luck now. <laughs> Probably should have held on to that. Oh, now he's being consumed too. <laughs> Oh no, Nero, get back here. What are you doing? Get down from there. Ah, oh, he's gone. I guess we're going after him too. Now he's gonna consume the darkness now that he is with the darkness. That can't be good. The covenant shall be honored. No. I am the cloud of darkness. I shall devour your light and return this world to the void. The Cloud of Darkness. Is that that green lady? Oh, so they're nothing without being controlled. So they're just mindless puppets of the darkness then. Being controlled. Ah, damn it, the rift is gone. What are we supposed to do now? As much as it pains me to leave without them, there's precious little we can do. Let us return to find and consult Rambrose. Rambrose will know what to do. That was cool. <laughs> what now? Oh, this person named themselves Kirito. That's cool. Maybe they're leveling a character, like an alt for the new Viper class. All right, let, let's let's get back where we need to go. Oh man, that was awesome. I thought the fight was cool. I feel like that 24 man was less chaotic in my brain the second time. I enjoyed that. That was so good. <laughs> did they all get as good as that? I'm so glad I did this crystal tower. And the random memories I'm getting about my old Final Fantasy 3 games that I played growing up of like the characters that I recognize is also so good. I can fly now, right? Good. Get me out of here. <laughs> I need to go back and look at the characters from that old game now. Because all I have are like distant memories of what people and characters used to look like. I'm sure once I rewatch some of the scenes and fights in that game that everything's going to like come running back. Then I'm going to be like, that's who that guy was. I remember now. <clears throat> all this happened within the tower? God's preserve. The rift that manifested before the throne was a void gate. Of this, I am certain. Void gate? Did I learn about the void gates already? I can't remember. Because I did the Black Mage storyline. Was that a void gate too? That they summoned the giant creature out of or something? There existed myriad kinds of void scent. The more powerful the being, the larger the gate must be for it to pass through. It would seem that Zondes thought to open a gate of unprecedented proportions, one that would allow the cloud of darkness entry into our world. You're waiting to see me die in a raid level 60? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure things only get worse because I'm still in the beginning of the game. And the things that I find unfathomable right now, I'm sure are like trivial crumbs to compare to what's to come. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Fortunately for all mankind, he did not succeed. I shudder to imagine what this void scent is capable of. It's fun a lot than Raid 50. Oh, I bet. I bet they kept adding things and having better ideas as time went on too. However dreadful it may be, we cannot abandon our friends. Is there no way to save them? I will not lie to you, Pastor Garland. The situation is bleak. Though Void Scent can enter our world, instances of men entering the Void have never been documented. 
They probably never came back. It pains me to give voice to fears, but we do not even know whether our friends are still alive. Ah, I feel so helpless. Don't worry, we'll figure it out, Sid. No, I refuse to give up. We must save Doga and Une. We share the same eye, tis true, but that is not what motivates me. Above all, I wish to help them to fulfill their mission, a mission whose burden they have borne for thousands of years. And besides, we cannot leave matters as they are. So long as Zandi's dark covenant is binding, our world is in danger. Tis our duty to prevent the worst from coming to pass. So the fact that his eye keeps hurting, does that have something to do with the Void Gate? Is that going to help us find it? Or find one? Or open one? <laughs> Gra. Ever since meeting Uni and Dolga, you have not quite been yourself. Tell me true. Is all well with your eye? I cannot... I Honestly, I can't say. I know only that there is a memory that I must recall. As a child, my father told me that the truth of our eye rests with Alag. The answer eludes me still, but one day I will find out. Good. I am with Graha. However slim the odds, we must try to save Uni and Doga. Aye, and that bastard Nero as well. If only to make certain that he won't make any more mischief. He's going to try to consume that darkness now that he's within it. That's what he wants, after all. You have the right of it. Though we have known them but briefly, Doga and Uni are our comrades. We cannot fail them. Good. I shall consult experts in literature both. I swear to leave no stone unturned. Yeah, let's go. Yet to know that it may be a while before we are ready to act, I would ask that you all be patient. When dealing with the void, one cannot be cautious enough. My thanks again for your assistance. Pray, rest now while you can, for when the time comes to go after our friends, you may be at no less than full strength. We'll save them yet, sir. Mark my words. I hope so. I certainly won't stop until we do. Quest complete. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Two raids down, many more to go. How many raids are in this series? Three? Five? I feel like, was that the top of the Crystal Tower, though? So are we technically done climbing the tower? Because we fought what? We fought the one fool with the fancy hat. I need to do that raid again so I can get his hat. The fact that his hat dropped, I wonder how rare that is. And the wind-up Onion Knight, I need to get that too. I, I, I forgot about the Onion Knight. I spent forever trying to get Onion Knights. Because there was a special way, special thing you had to do in Final Fantasy 3 to get the Onion Knight, didn't you? Something I wasn't able to do. That's all I remember. And then when I finally did, I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Because the Onion Knight was like the master of all spells. Actually, the Onion Knight kind of reminds me of the Red Mage. Because he always had like, he was always a freelancer who could use any spell, but he also had his sword. So like that's actually more reminiscent of the Red Mage for me than anything. The next is the last raid level 50. Okay, so that must mean I only have one more in this storyline. <clears throat> Unless the storyline continues. I don't know. We'll find out next time, though. That's actually a good spot to stop. Because I don't even know how much longer this mission is going to go on. <laughs> so we'll try to wrap up this next time. The Crystal Tower arc, or at least as far as we can go. And if what Whizbang says is true and it's only one more level 50 raid, then I must only have one more mission, which should be another couple missions and then one more... If it takes forever to queue that raid again, I can't, I, I can't last that long. <laughs> We've been going on for over six hours and that's usually a good stopping point. And my, the, the back of my thing is lighting up, which tells me that the sun is coming up, which is now my queue that I've been on for so long. <laughs> oh, that was so good though. Oh, I'm so excited.
I love the characters of my past and reminiscing on everything. And we leveled up Blue Mage more. And I gotta get all my I gotta get all my glamours put away. Ugh. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited for what more is to come. I'm gonna catch you guys next time though. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Thanks for the help today. Oh, that's cool. I just can't get over how cool it is. Except I keep saying that's cool and I need to like <laughs> Oh, alright, I'll sketch you guys next time. Have a nice one.